we're supposed to be, nobody sees it. All everyone knows is that you're there. So I said to our brothers and sisters in, in Swindon yesterday that it is possible for us to sit today, today the 23rd of July 2023, as IPOB members, because of the work IPOB leadership and other arms of the movement have done. These principalities and powers worked so hard to include IPOB in the World Terrorist Index. Do you know the painful steps taken by the IPOB leadership to avert that mayhem that would have befallen us? I got an today. Before I proceed, why do you think that after these years, these principalities and power quickly added IPOB to their so-called war terrorist index. Why do you think so? They are afraid. It is because they thought they would succeed with the beats, the tiny five, five naira rubbish the infiltrators are doing. They commit here and there, and they think, oh, that's enough. Let's, let's hang them. Let's, let's place them on that uh, uh, world terrorist index. When you saw the IPOB had been, when you saw that I world, world, not wall. We, sometimes when you say wall, you, you, you might think, now nah, I say wall or a hole. It's not a hole. It is a Owa. Proper owa. Proper world. When you saw they had a heart attack, I said, Did you see the infiltrators kick against it? Did you see anybody come and join the IPO leadership to say, no, we are not a terrorist organization. We are freedom fighters. We are seeking for the independence of our people via referendum. How many of them wrote? They stayed back and they watched, waiting for IPOB to collapse. IPOB went into war, understanding the principalities and power on beast mode. If you notice, I don't say powers, at least not yet. I am not using the word powers. I'm using just power. When I say principalities and power, I use power because I mean Britain. Britain. Britain, Britain, England, UK. And I'm coming to that. The principalities are the Nigerian government and all the infiltrators. You must also know that these infiltrators, they have different factions. They might have principalities anyway, different factions of principalities. Anyway, they be level by level. There is a faction of the ones you call the automated minions. You have the faction of the slimy ones who are unhappy for one reason or another. The faction of the faceless that hide behind masks, which also incorporates fallen angels from the inception of this movement. I see you all. And then there's a faction of the one Nigerianists. This is what IPOB is fighting. These are the principalities that IPOB leadership is fighting. If IPOB did not switch on her own beast mode and counter these principalities and power, every one of us would not be here today. All the sacrifice and dedication poured into this movement would have been for nothing. That would have been the end. That is when you would have known that these powers in the high places actually know everything about IPOB. If you notice, I use powers. And by that, I mean the EU, the AU, 
the United Nations, the British monarch, and the United States, and their arms of poison, which they call media, which they use to brand and spread lies. They come, they sow a, su- a seed of discord, and they use the one nearest to you, and they poison their hearts, and they push them to come after you. And you fight, you go into war. That's exactly what you see with Russia and, and Ukraine. They're using, they're coming from Ukraine, pushing Ukraine, pushing Ukraine, pushing Ukraine. That is what you see going on today. That is what they do. And then they, they spread their lies all over the place. This, they went as far as restricting my movement as Nam the Colonel's wife to some countries. I've had to call some of the countries. Why am I being restricted? Uh, uh, um, <laughs> some say you need to tell us the, what year you, how long you've been married to Nam the Kano. I have been, my movement to some certain countries have been restricted. But how would you know that? You wouldn't. But I thought I should mention that here today. In fact, I dug into my archive last night and found a couple of correspondences I had with um, a renowned um, professor and human rights lawyer in the Netherlands regarding representing my husband in in Europe and and all the steps taken to bring Nigeria to ICC in 2015 and, and 2016. I have absolutely forgotten that I did, I was involved in that very, very movement. That was the first time IPOB took Nigeria to ICC. Have you have you heard anything else since then? And, and we've been taking them since then. Have they said anything? Nothing. They have said nothing. Currently, they behave as though they are oblivious of our existence. Regardless of what we say, do. I have correspondences from MPs. My MP, our MP, is the same thing. It is the same thing. The foreign secretary, the, the, the case handler of my husband, he says the same thing. They say the same thing. Our oh, commie, commie, commie system. Are you okay? I see if I have a, a solution for you. They have none. There is nothing much we can do. This is the, this is the way we, we can go about it. But IPOB, IPOB is not letting them sleep. And I want to thank the UK chapter. You keep doing your work one day. In fact, it's already yielding. It's yielding fruits. So currently they behave as if we are oblivious or they are oblivious of our existence. We don't exist. They don't know nothing about us. They pretend that we they don't see anything. They see everything we do. But as Mazen Nam Kano said, if we do not do what we are doing today, if we do not do what we are doing now, they will say we rushed into war. That is why we are taking this long step. Known by law. As you can see, we are in court with them, and we are winning. Buari, when I said, uh, yes, there could be political um, uh, um, 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 resolution or whatever, but um, the law has to take its course. And then Nandekano has to come to court. Nandekano came to court, and then Nandekano has been winning since then. So, Abogini Jinketong, the answer is Britain. The answer is Britain. Had IPOB been banded in the same sphere as Al Qaeda, ISIS, Boko Haram, and the rest of them, you would be shocked by how much they know about us. That is when CNN will sneak out from their invisible radar to spew absolute hoax. That is when Sky News will remember to carry our news and heavens be damned if they forget to tag the leader of the group. Which is their plan. That is what they want to do. Get the infiltrators, commit, let them commit mayhem 
can unleash terror on our people and then they say yeah these people are terrorists and that is why their leader is is where he is they want to extinguish us from the face of the earth they want to obliterate us bunch of evil twisted living beings that is how they work a little bit of a little bit pointer on how they work they will send the infiltrators then they sit on the fence and look in the trees and and pretend uh, like okay what is going on in that place we don't actually know but they are the instigators they are the provocateurs of the, of the very event going on and click they will use their media and nap you nap you in the corner and give you a brand new name i remember during my master's degree program i had lots of libyans in in my department they were all under the care of the Gaddafi government they were all under the scholarship of the government they were well taken care of by the government and some of them really and, and uh, i had one uh, uh, she she um, she she was working in their uh, disaster recovery department and we had a conversation and she she told me why she was sent to to come and get a course and uh, so she can specialize in disaster recovery in libya you know in anticipation for for, for natural um, disasters like earthquakes and the rest of them and she told me good things about her government because we know how the people, we we know how the government was infiltrated and what was on the news was that he was shot by a young boy who was a member of a rebel group really and that people was very happy that he died when a lot of people i had in my department were sad they were heartbroken and eventually some of them stopped coming because there, there was no government to to sponsor their education anymore but i trust ipob media who understand the way they operate and will always win wars against all these media outlets nam the khan prepared his media arms and they understand the way these powers and principalities work and they always win i also recall the interview i had in 2021 that was in july uh, i can't pick the date right now in my head uh, by the times uk after my husband was renditioned the the title of the of of the interview was um, wife of the afghan rebel leader takes over north england uh, th that was very displeasing to me because i i know my husband is is the protagonist of ipub and not a rebel and the only character they could liking him to was robin hood jokers robin hood you liking nam the kind of robin hood of nothing have take another rebranding pattern by these powers when you hear of bini massacre what do you think happen i want to try and not take too much of our time britain will disrespect and disregard you with impunity and hope that you show no reaction whatsoever they rebrand their act of provocation upon the benin kingdom and rebrand that it has been in massacre i think we know, we all know the story and that probably will be for another day another way of getting to you is by getting those very close to you if i recall the the dongan king how the portuguese hired some in bangalans in bangalas they call in bangala they were the 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 tribe the warrior tribe of ndongo uh ndongo is now the uh, i think the we call it what angola so the portuguese during the slave trade kept taking and taking they like to take 
they like to take seat on you you must not move around if you move around then this is, it's a problem is the is the audacity for me so they hired some impangalas as mercenaries and the new threat the that very threat forced the indongan king to give up any attempts to rec reconquer his lost territories of indongo this is just a point to you how they operate they will use the person within or near your territory to try to subjugate you now talk about the aburi accord i will try to round up in the, in the next few minutes as um people's attention spans starts to diminish after 30 minutes and and some people don't remember most of the things you say after 30 minutes i have i've um i've picked that up at some point our uh, eternal father ujibu and the three other um head of states toasted to their reconciliation and agreement with champagne i'm just using the final uh, the summary they toasted to the agreement with champagne remember they all had to travel to aburi and that is in ghana due to the tension that brewed after the counter coup just that meeting only attending that meeting meant a lot it meant that every party present in that party in that very meeting excuse me wanted a solution to the imminent tension Ujuku meant business as he went with a strong team of legal, political, economic advisors, uh, secretaries, and realms of papers. Because he knew he meant business. So, and I also believe that the, the leaders who attended that meeting also understood what they were there for. And they toasted to their agreement. Now, not only did the other leaders agree with Ojuku that the regions and peoples of the nation first draw apart, which is which is uh, is free federalism. He practices uh, we, but they also agreed to Ojuku's point that whoever was at the top would only be a tight tiller head. So the person sits as a title ahead, but the person will only act when all the four regions have met and taken a unanimous decision. Now, why do you think that they, they stayed two days, they spent two days deliberating in meetings? And after reaching an agreement, someone decides to break it. How do you think that happened? Is it, that would cause the the, the 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 dissolution of Nigeria. That would bring apart. How can you love Nigeria more than your own country? So, how did that come about? That was Britain. That was when principalities and powers whispered to go on. They whispered to go on, and that was how. The Abuja Accord failed. Britain, being the power, came in and disorganized the agreement using their principalities who were within. You know the rest. And since then, any strong voice from the Biafra region that speaks for the betterment and freedom of the people was faced these principalities created by Nigeria and Britain. We had such principality in 2015, where a principality stationed his devilish friend who put his political ambition above my husband's health and life under the guise of representing my husband on pro bono the full details of what happened is narrated i narrated that in my book 
you might be wondering what what book what, what is this book is she talking about yes when i visited my husband in in the dss and we talked about everything i am doing has come to a halt which is my work my businesses and my charity organization and the difficulties myself his sons are going through as a family in his absence the difficulties the little one has to do with in school because of his father's absence my social life because as a wife of a freedom fighter i will not go to just anywhere i will not speak to just anyone because there are enemies unknown those of you on social media have you have you seen the insults and lies going on on social media about me i'm not on social media but i do get told that i have i have relatives on social media but it doesn't bother me i see those people as people who are below the belly of the snake and that means the lowest of the lows when someone is below the belly of a snake, the person is lower, is the lowest of the lows, lower than them all. Because 100% of these people know nothing about me, and 97% of them have never set their eyes on me. So when you indulge in talking about someone you know nothing about, and insulting that person who did nothing to you, you are a dundee. My father was the mother of the mother And to be honest with you, that does not bother me because I don't do that. And as my husband most times would say, I, I know you don't like that. I know you don't like that. It, it, it will done that to me. He knows I can't. I can't. I can't be bothered because the frequency that I operate in is far above your limit. So I really won't blame you if you look at me and you think, oh my God, I don't believe there's such person in this world. Let me drag her into the box where you and your fellow pigs are playing with delight. But believe you me, I won't get in there with you because I don't do dirt. I don't do dirt. Not a lie that I need to be debunk here is that our little son won the sum of five hundred thousand dollars the sum of five hundred us thousand dollars i saw i saw i saw a particular uh my in fact it was my husband's uncle the, the, the wife said to me his uncle's wife said to me and i said i seen this said this one this one is different this one is different and this one has the uh, five hundred thousand dollars the other one was five thousand and the, has the that became the picture. Are you serious? So I listened and I, I, I still ignored it. Anyway, I don't have time. I've been very ill. I got a few song calls which explain, I had to explain, telling those people that the news is a hoax. Is a hoax. It's not true. It is not true. Our latest one did not receive, did not win any 500,000 US dollars. It's not true. People who are not social media were talking about it. And the wicked thing about this lie is that that was the time the financial burden of my medical treatment became very critical. A few people asked me during the message of May. And I was surprised. I was like, this is very serious. I don't take it seriously. But people are really asking. So it means some people believe that. You and the cancer won 500,000 US dollars. That is a hoax from the pit of hell. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. But that was propagated to hinder, I believe, to hinder me from getting any financial help or anywhere. I don't know what it is in the East, but I'm, I'm trying to put one and two together. I don't get it. These are some of the principles that I do. As a wife of freedom speaker, this is the, this is the principality that I deal with. The wife of the car. 
the sacrifices that I have made and still making. So in all these, my husband suggested to me, and he said, I mean, when, when, when we were talking about the, the difficulties we're facing as a family, he suggested to me, you've always wanted to write it, why don't you write a book? And I said, okay. And, and I started. This book is an X-ray of my life. It is, it is an X-ray of my life as the wife of a freedom fighter. True life story. From the very first day, Nam the Colonel set his eyes on me to date. It is a book with names, locations, evidences, and details of all the events that occurred around me as the wife of the freedom of, of Nam the Colonel, the freedom fighter. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Friends, the book is on 80% completion, and I promise you, <laughs> uh, it will be a bomb. So, so strap your seatbelt and wait for that book. So many things that you do not know about and will never know will be made known to you in that book. Wait for it. Sorry, I had to digress. I had to, I had to, I had to just digress to that very point anyway. So going back to the principalities of 2015, where a supposed counsel who was supposed to defend my husband was rather using my husband to cash out and climb his political ladder. Take the bull by the horn. I nearly lost my 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 son. Then I was going into eight months. Um, that was the last trimester because of the the, the stress, because of the pain I went through. Then I would vomit every day from the day I conceived till the day I put to bed, I would vomit every day. I would slide out on the floor for at least one hour. I will be unconscious. Every morning, I will be unconscious. And after an hour or so, sometimes 45 minutes, I will regain consciousness and then I will stand up and start to fight for my husband. I had to take the bull by the horn. And that was what gave birth to Barrister Ifanyu Jofo, you see today. And you all saw what he did then and what he is still doing. I mean, what I brought him in then for, he did. So my husband, our leader, Namde Kano, left him and loved what he did and worked with him and continued to work with him and gave him a different um, um, contract, I think. And both of them have been working together since then. I just did my job then to make sure that my husband stayed alive. Because this very person, I have this narrated in my book, this very person, this very council would sit in front of the, uh, what is it called, the media without having done any work. Every work, every filing done in the magistrate course was done by my father. And because some of us don't talk doesn't mean that, um, in fact, when people don't actually tell their own part of the story, you should be afraid. Because in my case, Let me not dip in too much into that. I want to encourage every one of us, the principal officers, the leadership, and the Bia friends at large, do not be discouraged whenever you are faced 
with these principalities because they will always attack you whenever you're doing the right thing or in the right direction of this movement. Nobody knows that I have been very sick, very, very sick. Even though the, the, the leadership are, are, are aware, but none of you know that I've been very sick. Nobody knows. And I have been undergoing some surgeries and currently I'm still on treatment regardless. Regardless my, my state of health, I had to arrange for doctors from my sick bed for my husband. And I'm glad to tell Biafrans that his medical investigations have begun. And I'm sure you, you already know that. At this point, I have to appreciate my PA, Chioma. She has been more than a PA to me. She's been a sister to me. When no relation, no sister, no brother, no friend, no husband was to see me through this life-threatening surgery. She was there for me. She had to come. Because according to the medical law, I cannot undergo that important procedure because... I need an adult. There must be an adult with me. So by the time I returned to the land of living, this, this happened on the 4th. By the time I returned to the land of living, she had already collected my little boy from school. In fact, I had some medical procedures that I had to go back on my feet. Some some medical procedures that I had before that very one I had on the fourth. If I had to go, but no one to take me home, no one to 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 pick and I came from school. I have to get up and walk slowly from the very procedure to his school to pick him up from school. And I will be walking slowly. You imagine all eyes on me, and everyone will be wondering what why is she walking that slowly. The penultimate surgery, which is the, the second to the last surgery I had, was on the 22nd of June, 2023. The medical procedure failed. In fact, after, after, after some trials, it failed. And I was in severe pain. But whilst I was on the recovery bed, I was watching the appeal court proceedings in the UK. The appeal court proceedings for my husband in the UK. I was on the field um, uh, surgery recovery bed and I was watching it. So this time around, because no one can come, nobody, nobody. Kema had to come for the last surgery as they refused me being alone. This happened four days before the Finland uh, um, rally. And as duty called, I had to obey. I had to obey the voice of IPOB and disobey the voice of, of, of my medical doctor who, who told me, do not speak on top of your voice. You, you're still very faint. You, you need to, don't do anything. Don't walk. Don't drive. Don't do this. Don't sit down for long. Um, do not do any strenuous, um, strenuous movement. But guess what? The day after the surgery, I left. I am left with no choice than to take my little one to school. Still in pains after Chema had left. I said I had to drive. I was told don't drive, but I had to. Who, who would? Don't walk to him. I had to. Because nobody would do it for me. Chema, I want to thank you. I can't thank you enough. But please. You need to activate my social media handles. In fact, as we speak, I need you to begin to activate my social media handles. We are going back to social media. 
So ask yourself, when you cast aspersions and insult the movement and the leadership, what sacrifice are you making? Every one of us has one thing or another that we're sacrificing. But when you cast aspersions, what, what sacrifice are you making? Ask yourself that question. Probably your data and your returns from your paymasters. And you, 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 you use your data to call names. Those name callings, they mean nothing. I see them. I call them ad hominems. You have ad hominem, you have ad hominem fallacy. And when you are in that mode, your frontal lobe is dormant, doesn't work. And because you are pugnacious, impetuous, and impertinent, your actions and behavior depicts insanity, depicts insanity like you. You can't reason, you're bumming around like only, 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 only. Once again, I want to appreciate all your friends all over the world. The principal officers, the leadership, and Omakukwani. Speaking of Omakukwani, please, DOS and dear friends back home, I have a, I have a worry that we are accepting the fact that our children cannot study history in school, can't learn anything, don't, don't know anything about our history. Let us all rise up to make sure that Igbo language and the history studies are being taught in schools. All the petitions or whatever, let's start to do, to write. Because if you put your ears to the ground, you will notice that Africa is beginning to raise their voice, raise her voice. Africa is rising. There is a sound of revolutionary union for Africa by Pan-Africanists. And we know that Mazin Lambekano is a Pan-Africanist. And we must be among the protagonists of this new song. I, for one, I am a lover of sound mind and of sound reasoning. So our children must be trained in that line to stand against principalities and powers in the future. To reason rationally and not emotionally. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. It's a pleasure. I really appreciate you all. And... I thank you for this very honor. May Chukwu Kikabiyama, Onye Nkepuri Mihenine, bless and protect you all. Ise, 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 this is Radio Biafra, and this is where we worship. From me, from here, it is good evening. And I'm going to hand over the platform to Maze Abanyim, the European representative. Marzi, please welcome to the program with your group. Over to you, please. Go on. Thank you, Marzi Jonathan. Thank you so much. Um, good evening, dear friends all over the world. Good evening, good afternoon, and good night to so some of you, depending on your time zone, your location. Good evening, dear friends in Europe. Um, my name is Mazio Sinabanyim. I am the, the European representative of indigenous people of Biafra. I come from Ami Kechuku. Ami Kechuku is in Biafra, in all the province of Biafra land. So it is always a great pleasure to come to Radio Biafra once in a while to enlighten our people, to inform them and to keep them abreast of what is uh, going on in our struggle because information they say is power and from that information you gain knowledge and knowledge gives you understanding we have uh, we found it uh, very very absolutely necessary it has become imperative that we come on radio biafra uh, to inform our people as to where we stand in our struggle for freedom. But before I go ahead, I would like to uh, say one or two prayers 
to our people in Biafra land, especially the ESN and Mazinam Dekano, who is our supreme leader. I want to pray that Chukwu Okabeyama will continue to sustain him wherever he is. Um, he has committed no crime known to law. That is obvious before the court and before every every person in that contraption called Nigeria. Mazin Nam Dikan is an innocent man, a prisoner of conscience. And because Chukwu Okabeyama is with him, those who are holding him have brought calamity upon themselves. Look at what is going on in the zoo since our leader was illegally abducted from Kenya. Extraordinary rendition to Nigeria and locked up in a solitary confinement at the DSS dungeon in Abuja. Nigeria will continue to see calamity. They will never know peace until the innocent Mazin Amdikano is released unconditionally and very soon. And those who have a hand in what happened to him, none of them shall live to see Biafra restored. That is what we stand for. Because Biafra is a spirit, you better go and ask those who have tried all their best, all their possible best to, to see if they can manage to collapse this struggle. But uh, to their nightmare, it has become an impossible task. We have come to Radio Biafra to pray for ESN as well. ESN is our last line of defense. Our leader called them the, the finest of the finest army we have in this world because they are fighting for ideology and not for money. Therefore, Chukwu Kabam will continue to sustain them, give them victory in every action they take to protect our land and people. Chukwu Abiyama will also continue to protect the leadership that he put in place. It is obvious that he has transferred that anointing that he gave to Mazin Amdikan to the present leadership. And that's why whatever we do prospers. That's why we have been indomitable. That's why we have been consistent and unperturbed in the pursuit of our freedom. We pray for Mas Chike, Dozim, who is the head of the directorate, and those who are working closely to him, that Chukwu Abiyama will come to shower them with more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, but most important, to be their shield and fortress. In the name of Chukwu Abiyama, I have prayed. Say, say, you say. I want to also uh, go ahead to uh, inform our people or to remind our people that Nazinam Dikan from the onset, from the inception of this struggle, has made it clear that Radio Biafra is our only source of undiluted information. It's a place where we worship. But in, in recent days, since Mazinam Dukan was abducted, many have abandoned this platform. And that is why some of them have fallen into the hands of the enemy. Because Radio Biafra is a hallowed platform. It is where you get knowledge. It is where you get understanding and where you see the light. Because what you see everywhere now is darkness in that theological republic. Because the absence of light is where you see darkness. So those who have abandoned Radio Biafra are wallowing in ignorance, in darkness. And that is why some of them will tell you that they are confused. And that's why some of them will go out out of their way to follow somebody who has never been a member of IPOB and who will never be a member of IPOB and will suffer a hired agent from the zoo called Nigeria to come and disrupt what we are doing 
and hired the agent who came from the back door to see if you can gain access to the leadership of this struggle that they may hijack it. But as God may have it, they have failed woefully and they will continue to fail. We have come to tell Biafrans that Radio Biafra is the light. It is the light unto your feet and the lamp unto your path, according to Psalm 119, for those of you who are Christians. Psalm 119 says that. So if you miss Radio Biafra, you will be wallowing in darkness. This is where we worship. So I want to use this medium to encourage our people and uh, those who are rushing to Facebook or YouTube to go and get their information, bear in mind that most of the channels where you go, what you hear there are the things that are bringing confusion to your head. Because those guys who are, you know, they are, some of them are there to make money, so they have to tell you what you want to hear. And by hearing, you become corrupt, become confused. Come to Radio Biafra and get undiluted truth to help you understand and digest um, where we stand in this struggle and where we are heading to. Mazi Chinas Samuru comes on Radio Biafra to give you information, undiluted information as to what is happening in Biafra land. Mazi Chike Dozim, the head of the directorate, do come to Radio Biafra to make important announcements. Once in a while, Lola Uche Chikano, the wife of our leader, also comes on Radio Biafra to address Biafrans. And whenever she speaks, she speaks the, the mind of her husband. If you believe and truly believe that you are a um, follower of Masinam the Kano, you do well to listen to these people. And as we also we have come to this platform to speak, we are speaking the mind of the leader of this struggle. So therefore, we want dear friends to be aware that there is fire on the mountain. The recent happenings in the struggle uh, is self-explanatory. They have closed our account in Germany and turned around to point fingers on Chike Dozim and the rest of us. They close the account in America, they turn around to point the fingers on us. But we all, those who are close to this leadership, those who are constantly listening to Radio Biafra, we know the truth. We know that the enemies have come to collapse this struggle by all means possible. First of all, they want to collapse our finances. That is one of the pillars of this struggle. That's why they are frustrating this leadership of funds so that without funds, we cannot run the struggle and everything will collapse. But we are always seven steps ahead of them. They have also attacked the ESN, which is another pillar of this struggle. They claim that they are ESN themselves. They change their names all the time. They change their titles. They claim to be disciples of Nam Khan. After being a disciple, you become the prime minister or crime minister, trying to then overthrow the person you, you're supposed to be following. They made promises to Biafra that Biafra will be restored in 150 days. Nobody's asking questions. That 150 days has come and gone. They also boasted that they have acquired fighter jets to destroy the zoo called Nigeria. Nobody's asking the question, where did you back the jet? They also boasted of having warship that is going to come and destroy Nigeria. The Golibus keep following sheepishly without asking questions. That's why it is absolutely necessary that you come to Radio Biafra, get in enlightenment and get knowledge that the people that we have in our land we have come to the, you know, to save them, to protect them. Because now, Maz Nam Dikano saw this many years before they are beginning to unfold in our own eyes. That's why we are doing what we are doing. We can never turn around to kill the same people we have come to protect. But those who claim to be fighting for Maz Nam Dikano's release are the ones killing the same people 
they have come to protect. Killing four market women who are coming out on Monday to do their businesses, you kill them. You put a seat at home for two weeks so that those who are the peasants who must come every day to make their living, you keep them indoors so that they may starve. This is, this is the height of wickedness. It has nothing to do with the struggle. If releasing Mazin Nam Dikano is what you can achieve by sitting at home, what have you achieved for the past two years sitting at home? Nothing. Because the Nigerian government doesn't want to know whether you sit at home or not. The pain is only on the Biafran people. Nigeria has no economy, talk less of the economy that you are going to uh, inflict injury on them. When they don't have money, they go and borrow money. They don't care whether the economy is going up or they're going down. So you cannot keep trying the same thing and getting the same results, and you keep trying the same thing. In this struggle, we have learned to change strategies and make sure we achieve our goal. You can't keep doing the same thing and getting the same result, and you keep doing the same thing. Sit at home, sit at home, sit at home, achieve nothing. This particular leadership of IPOB, IPOB worldwide have changed different strategies to ensure uh, gotten what we want, to ensure that we are going to achieve it because when you use one strategy and it doesn't work, you have to brainstorm and see what else you can do to make headway. But this is to show you that they have come to steal, to kill, to maim and to destroy. Their aim is only to collapse this family, to commit atrocities and hang it on Mazin Nam Dikano, because there's no amount of years you are going to sit at home that will make Nigeria government to do what they don't want to do. But there are many ways to kill a rat, and that's why this leadership is doing what we are doing, which we are not at liberty to tell you in the public. But those who are watching closely, we see with their eyes the result of the work of this leadership. They have done everything to make us they come and they tell them what we have in mind, what are the, our plans are, but that's not going to happen. We remember when our leader bought the transmitter in London, sent it to Biafra land, they started saying he has, uh, he has embezzled our money, there's no transmitter. The pressure become too high. Masinam Dukano went and take picture of where the transmitter is in Biafra land and made it public. A few weeks later, the zoo came and arrested those who live in that house and took that transmitter to today. So for that, we have learned our lesson. There's no amount of pressure that will make us tell you what we want to do. But when you do it, you are going to see it with your eyes. We are not here to play because many lives have been lost, blood has been shed, millions of us have been killed for this particular freedom, and we are not here to make money with it. We are not here to make money. Some of some people who call themselves relatives or siblings of Mazin Amdekan has the mindset of turning this struggle to a franchise. And that is very, very sad indeed. Very, very sad that many people have died in this struggle. Many are still dying on daily basis. And some people still have the God to be making money out of the blood of our people. Freedom fighters never fight for money. If you are in this struggle and you are depending on the money you are going to get or you are placed on salary, then you are not a freedom fighter. Freedom fighters fight for their ideology. They spend their own money, their own hard-earned money, not to embezzle what people are contributing to make sure that this struggle moves forward. So therefore, dear friends, I will be calling on some of the coordinators who have come with me tonight. They will introduce themselves to you and they will also uh, say one or two things to let you know where we stand. We are here to tell you 
that Mazin Namdekano remains our leader, our supreme leader. Mazichi Kedosiem remains the head of directorate of state, deputized by Mazi to go There is nothing like Biafra government in exile. There is nothing like prime minister. There is nothing like Biafra spokesperson. All those nomenclature are the scheme of the enemy to try to see if they can destroy what we are doing. But they have failed woefully and they will continue to fail. And none of them who has soiled their hands in blood, the blood of our people shall ever live to see this Biafra restored. In the name of Chuko Kiabiam. Let me call my deputy master Zayuba uh, to say one or two things before other coordinators will, uh, will be called upon to speak. Thank you, dear friends. I will be here standing by um, as we go ahead. Thank you so much. All here, Biafra. Um, uh, Mazes Ayoba, please, I'm calling upon you uh, to come and uh, uh, speak to our people who are listening attentively tonight um, regarding why we have come here tonight uh, to this uh, broadcast. There we no, no, um, our European rep, Mazi Abadim. Thank you very much. I hope I'm coming out clear from your own. Yes, Mazi, go ahead. You are coming out clear. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, thank you to our host tonight, Mazi Jonathan Chinedu. And uh, greetings to dear friends all over the world and the IPOB family. Depending on your time zone, I I'm greeting you, uh, bringing you good tidings from my location here. Uh, my name remains Mazai Zayoba, and by the special grace of Almighty Juko Kabiyama, I serve the indigenous people of Biafra as the deputy European rep, and uh, of course also a member of the Retreat. Uh, thank you so much for coming around this evening to listen to us. Uh, of course, we, uh, my European rep have said almost everything. Uh, just to add a little bit spicy in what he has already said, um, of course, uh, I will not hesitate to realize the head and the leader of this movement, uh, known as Mazen Namdo Kano, who is now in the DSS dungeon. He was kidnapped in Kenya and the extraordinarily renditioned to, to Nigeria. He's a prisoner of conscience. The Nigerian competent court have decided and acquitted this man and Nigeria that claims to be a democratic country never ever obey their own rule of law. When the law does not favor them, they intend to bend it, which is exactly what they are doing. Aided and are supported by the British. Of course, British are the one doing what they are doing in Nigeria. Nigeria is not a free country. Nigeria is not independent. Nigeria is a contraption. It's a British farm. That's what I call it. British farm. They call it themselves, British call it themselves a fantastically corrupt country. It wasn't me that said it. It wasn't IPOB. It is British Prime Minister, sitting Prime Minister at the time, David Cameron called Nigeria a fantastically corrupt country. And at the same time, President of the United States at the time also called Nigeria a shithole. And Nigeria have exhibited all this name in a higher places. Of course, we know that Nigeria is a shithole. We are here tonight to reinstate and to reaffirm our solidarity with our leader Mazen Namdekano. Regardless where they had him, regardless where they are keeping him illegally, after the competent court of Nigeria have decided and acquitted him, we are solidly behind him, standing shoulder to shoulder with him in this Biafra restoration quest or project, if you like. We are not going to back down. 
we are not going to retreat we are not going to surrender we are here to let our people know that every structure that is established by Mazen Nam the Khan, the leader of this great movement, is still intact and in place. And that's why you are seeing some members of national coordinators across Europe are going to come in out this week to be addressing you. It has started today. And a uh, few of them are going to talk after a few minutes. Of course, you know that this will continue because they are coming in badge by badge. We can't have all the national coordinators to speak tonight. So this set of uh, group will speak tonight, and so, uh, the other set will come out tomorrow, and the next according to the program. So this will reassure and tell our people, in the absence of Onyendu, in the absence of the attack, in the, abs in the, in the whole invasion of IPOB family, we want to let our people know that IPOB family are still intact anywhere they located. It's quite unfortunate that some, you know, disgruntled fellows have fallen apart. Onyendu mentioned 100 men. Also, no ga okum, but ha wupu. This is the stage where we are now. We are coming here this evening to let our people know that this Biafra and this movement led by Onyenduma Zendam the Kano, the heart of it cannot be allowed to see any corruption. And we are going to protect this Biafra restoration project. We are going to protect Onyendu. And we are letting the Nigerian states and their handlers and the British government know with or without Onyendu, we are not going to back down and we are going to restore Biafra in truth and honesty. No corrupt individual will be allowed to see the heart of this movement. You can only try, you will fail. That is a promise. You will think when you kidnap Mazen Nam Kano, you will collapse this movement. You will try to install somebody who is never a part of this movement after nearly 10 years of hard work of Mazen Nam Kano. You want to introduce an infiltrator. Somebody who have never at any given time been a part of this movement. You use your media preponderance in the zoo to elogize him, to bring his name all over the place, that this is the person in the name of a disciple. And today, they have fallen on the wayside because they are not meant for this Biafra restoration. They can only make noise wherever they are. They continue to make their noise until we came to their domot to shake hand with him as a coward, as useless as he is, as a mouth making basket mouth. He went on a hiding. He never come out to address his fellow Biafrans as he claimed to be. He disappeared. He didn't show up anywhere until we left. He came out today bragging with the military regalia, and wearing the helmet that we are using to ride a bicycle here and the motorbike. Using your brain to mess your brain up. Killing our people with impunity. With the sponsor, heavy sponsored. And it's quite unfortunate that Onyendu announced this thing to our people. That Nigeria have mapped out to set out billions of dollars that many of our people will be buyed. Many of our people will be bought. Many of our people will be deceived. Many of our people to, will be sent to early grave. Our people refuse to listen. And today it has happened. Pregnant woman being shot in the street of Biafra land. Unborn child baby being killed by these infiltrators. Our children in the schools being pulled out from their schools. Teachers lie down in the open, being flogged by the criminals themselves that claim that they are fighting for the same children. How can anyone attribute this kind of criminals to IPOB? Mazen Namdekano have led his life for. His parents died in this struggle. And we are here to reaffirm that we are not going to tolerate this anybody any individual any group involved in intimidating and harassing and killing our people 
we will never be forgiven. We can never forgive them. The same people who come out yesterday accusing IPOB leadership, the same people who came to blackmail Mazin Namdekano, the same people who kidnapped him are the ones that are blackmailing IPOB, are the ones that are working so hard to put themselves in the position of the leadership. Everything is there in the open for us, for everybody to see. The same group of people, until they naked themselves in the open. Even their women, they call themselves Omar the Highway. They call themselves different kinds of names. Until the same people naked themselves in the open. Their gangling leader have no shame. He took the nakedness of our woman, an evil woman, and post it on the internet. This is something that our people don't know. He claimed to be fighting for Biafra. And he took the nakedness of a mother that has children, that has a husband, and put the picture of the nakedness of our mother in the open and killed a pregnant woman with unborn, unborn, uh, unborn baby on the street of Biafra land. They want to use him to hijack the movement. Here my his group, and they claim the so-called, he called himself special counsel. They plant them in layers. These infiltrators and criminals are being put in layers. In layers. You deal with this one, another set will come out. You deal with this one, another set will come out. We will continue also to deal with them until the fusion away Biafra restored Mazen the candle, Mazen Nam the Kanu released. We are not going to get tired. But Kondendu told us to prepare. A day like this will come. And if he want them, it will take them 150 years to take down this structure of IPOB. It doesn't matter how many we are, the free we are, we are the resolute and fierce we are becoming. We are not going to let our people to be intimidated again. We are not going to be a sacrificial lamb. We are not going to allow Igbo land. We are not going to allow coastal region of Biafra land to be a sacrificial lamb for Nigerian states. British for hundred and ten years now. British has contributed nothing to the uh, development of Nigeria till today. And we are using this opportunity to let our people know that there is a wave of revolution going around in Africa now. Every Biafran youth must stand up. We have called off the seat at home. They want to demonize the seat at home. And this is why we started shouting to our people, if you don't follow the instruction of the leadership, this is what will become of you. In every organization, there is a structure and there is a leader in that organization. If you start going against the structure, then everything will become messy. And this is what we have warned our people. You don't go and begin to believe somebody who is not a part of the movement. That means if you have fallen this low, that means the need of us fight observation. Because we don't want to restore Biafra that will restore tomorrow. And after we have gone, which one you have said, in this time we are here, there will be no one like us. After we have gone, you will wish we live forever. We don't want to leave this Biafra restored and you will hand it back to the criminals and to the Westerners that have rendered the Biafra land asunder. No infrastructure, no development, no road, no water, no electricity, no school, no security. They want to make our land a desolate area. They want to make our land uncomfortable for our youth, so they will be running out every blessed day. Come down here in Europe and see thousands of Biafran youth running away from Nigeria because they've been hunted down. This is what Nigeria state, this is what the British want. Make Biafran land ungovernable so that the youth 
we will run away. So they will use our land and do as they wish. And that is the reason why they employ this criminal that are based in Finland that is actually decided to wage war at his own doorstep. Nobody, no same man, no reasonable person will declare a war in his own house. It doesn't happen. You go outside and declare the war and save your house. You don't bring war to your own inside house. It doesn't happen anywhere. This is the reason why they employ this criminal, this small boy, this small boy that pays in Finland. If the hand of government are not into what he's doing, all the call that we have made to the Finnish government, the investigation they have run on him and they have confirmed that this guy is a criminal, they decided to lay low because Nigerian government is using them. Also have paid the Finnish government to protect this criminal, to continue his killings in our own land. Not in Nigerian states, not to the Nigerian police and military, but to our own land. We have come here to let you know that whatever that guy is doing, whatever him and his group is doing, whatever him and his lawyer that is going to the heart of Mazen Namdekanu, getting out some information, Mazen Namdekanu will think that he's talking to somebody. He doesn't know that information is given is going to the hand of this man. And this guy will be coming on the national on the television, on the radio, on the TV, on the internet, and dancing, drinking anything. And he's fighting for your Biafra regulation. We are letting you know that it's only one IPOB led by Mazen Namdekan. Anything else is fraud. Our people you must know how to follow instruction. This is why British fragmented Biafra land. They give all the place they call the South South that does not exist in any cardinal point. We are asking the British, where is your own South South in Britain? Can you point out where is South South? And today they are laying a pipeline from Biafra land, Biafra land to Niger Republic. One of the things that is causing the problem today in Niger. This is what the British are doing. Laying a pipeline illegally without the consultation. Before you lay a pipeline here, anywhere in Europe, here, you will consult the entire community. It will be debated by the people themselves that the pipeline will be laid through this community. But this thing is happening in our community. Rather, they will wage war. They will instigate violence in that community, too, in that community, and they will chase our people out from that community. They will start their illegal mining. We are letting our people know that we are here to protect you, not to kill you. The city at home has been suspended. We suspend it, and we call it in whenever it's necessary. Anybody using this to fool you, that is at your own detriment. Learn how to follow instruction and directive. This is how we will protect our land. They said these are the mantras they use to destroy our society so that nobody will listen to anybody. There will be no leader. There will be nobody directing anybody. And uh, we have come to amend that. We have come to correct that. This is why you see them they have waged war into the finance of IPOB. They kidnapped Onyendu immediately, immediately. They started the wage war against this movement and the IPOB leadership. From the leadership himself, to the head of directorate, to the IPOB finance, to everything, even to the seat at home that we've been using for May 30 years to honor our fallen heroes. Look at what this criminal is doing with it to destroy our land to destroy our economy to destroy our people and they now want to demonize it so that anytime you hear it that
Mas as I you, are you still there? Seems that we have lost you. Mas as I you, we have lost you. Unmute yourself. Yes, Mazi. Okay, let yeah. me just summarize, yeah. please, if you can hear me. Yeah. Yes, let yeah, me go, just summarize go. just in, 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 in just uh, uh, 50 seconds, please. Yeah. Uh, this, information, this information that is coming to me now uh, is about our community called AZK in Enugu. Um, there is a plan, a grand plan, that the Fulanese are coming to attack that community. Uh, please, our people in Enugu should be at alert. This is one of the states, this infiltrator, have taken hostage uh, in the last couple of months now. This criminal have taken hostage of one part, some areas in Enugu. Please, our people in Enugu should listen and follow IPOB leadership led by Mazen Namdekano. This is where our leader's wife have come and address our people. Please, this is for your own safety. Mazen Namdekano said he want Biafra land to become this leadership that he established also in the same token as saying that we want Biafra land to become. We want you to live. We, we are here to protect you, not to kill you. Don't anybody outside IPOB. These are government agents. We are coming here to let you know that we are the real IPOB. We are the leaders of IPOB. Please, our people in Enugu to take note. And also there is an information coming that a thousand hectares of land has been given away by somebody else. Oh no, Guinea. let me just get it, please. Just one second, let me just get it. They call him Eze, uh, Onukusi, Onukusi, or something like that. Eze, Onukusi, Eze John, Onukusi, has given almost a thousand hectares of land to the Fulani in Owere for Ruga. Or what are you must say? Our land is under siege. Our people need to wake up. We need to stand up with other countries now. They are Biafra youth. Stand up now with other youth and defend our land. At least what happened in IPOB now, our people can use it now to identify who are the criminals, who are the sponsors of these criminals. The politicians are involved in it. But however, we have now exposed them. Our uh, people need to know who the enemy is uh, and stand up and fight for the freedom of Mazin Namdekano. And not only for the freedom of Mazin Namdekano, for the liberation, for the freedom of our land. Now that every other countries are doing it, we cannot allow our people to be left behind at this critical time. This is why the European IPOB national coordinators led by Mazin Osinabanyim, under the leadership of DOS, are here now to reassure our people that we are solidly behind our leader and we are standing shoulder to shoulder with him in protection of our land. Thank you very much for listening to us. Maazi, Osna, I am giving you back the microphone and uh, good evening from you and Deo. Deo Maazi, thank you for your um, excellent rendition. And uh, like I already said at the opening speech, our people. Um, we do well to listen to us tonight because many, many more information uh, is coming uh, to educate them, to enlighten them, and to make them fit and uh, ready for what is coming. There were Mazi. Thank you so much, my deputy. Um, let me call on Mazi Namdi Omer, our coordinator in Austria. Mazi Namdi Omer, please um, come up and address their friends. They were. Ndewo uh, Mazi Abanim, Ndewo Mazi Jonathan Chinedu, for for inviting us today, Lucas. Greetings to Biafrans all over the world. Greetings to IPOB Austria. My greetings to our leader Mazin Nam De Kano. And also my greetings to our DOS. My name is Namde King Siri Ongumere. 
I serve indigenous people of Biafra as a IPOB Australian National Coordinator. We are here today, this evening, to inform Biafrans all over the world that we Biafrans in Austria and in that we are still stand strong behind our leader Mazin Namdekano and the the leadership which he put on the ground, doctorate of state, the leadership of the IPOB. We are still we stand strong behind them and the, our leadership, Mazi Edozem. We have faced so many things since uh, our leader was the nation from Kenya to zoo called Nigeria. We have fought many battles because we know from the one that such a thing will happen the moment the, the rendition of our leader because we have seen this thing before 2015 when our leader was kidnapped was was arrested in lagos we know what all what happened and we know the moment they they hold our leader they will come again with the same strategy they use So I want to inform Biafrans all over the world, especially Biafrans in Austria, that IPOB in Austria, that we are still strong and the, maintaining the structure of our leader, which he keep on the ground. We are not shaking. We are committed and focused. So during the COVID-19, we have so many of some people that join our, our struggle. When the our, our leader was rendition, so many things happen. And those ones they fall by the side. But the men committed ones from the one. We, we are not shaking. We are still stand our strong, our stand in in the in the in the movement of Biafran restoration. IPOB Austria. We never lose focus. We maintain the structure of IPOB structure of our leader. Keep on the ground here. We never lose focus. So many things have happened among our people in all over the world, in different families. But I want to inform I inform Biafrans that. Those people that fall by the side, they are not made for this struggle. They are not made for this struggle. Those committed ones, those, those that are called by Chukwu Abiyama for the station of Biafra, they are still committed, strong. We never lose focus. Our leader opened our radio. We know the reason because our, because information is the power. We live in a Western world. We understand the importance of information. We have never have such a thing in our land before. We never have a place that their friends can come together and gather. 
to hear the gospel of Biafra, to speak about things that are concerning us. And that is the reason why our leader opened the radio. And that is where we get information concerning Biafran struggle, concerning whatever that is happening. That is where we get every information. And in IPOB Austria, we understand this key point that is very, very important. We listen to Radio Biafra. No matter what happened, because that is where we get a lot of, that is where we get authentic information about what is going on in this struggle. Because the moment they rendition our leader, the zoo Nigerian bring a lot of money, pump money outside to spread a lot of fake information, bring a lot of people outside social media to confusing people so that people will lose focus. But we understand the importance of Radio Biafra because this is something we call our own. That is where we get the information. And that is where we never lose focus. And that is where we committed. Because that is where all the whole information goes to leadership of, of this struggle. Whatever, whatever, whatever we need to know going on at any time, you can get it on Radio Biafra. Both our leaders wife. That is where she that is where she gives her own information. She didn't go to any other radio. It's on Radio Biafra. But I'm but, I, but so many of our people neglect this radio, trying to find out so many information from social media, and that is why many of them are confused. That is why many of them lose distracted because of they start hearing from um, sometimes they don't understand that those people they are arresting, they are agents of the zoo. They, they, that, that is why they they bring them out to they bring a lot of fake information to make to, to bring a sweet a sweet talk that will make our people lose focus. But we understand all this strategy. That is why from the one we never check. Those ones that fall by the side, they are the ones that they are weak one among us, and those ones that come during the COVID nineteen, they don't understand exactly what is going on, and then because they still have the mindset of the zoo. But our leader, Mazin Namde Kano, have already informed us, have already prepared our mind from day one, ahead of this thing that is happening this, this time around. You already prepare our mind to be focused, to be, to be mentally tough. And without that, we cannot be able to achieve this Biafra struggle we are going through. Because we cannot have the same mindset of the Nigeria. We can never descend, have this mindset of colonial mentality to enter a new Biafra. You must prepare your mind. You must change your mental, your thinking. Understand what is going on. Critical thinking. Because in one world, we, start, we live where, where, where there is a law. We start discipline. We start a proper organized. We cannot be able to achieve what we are doing. We cannot be able to face a criminal gang up a mafian country like in Nigeria. We are all the whole mafian around the world. They are hustling. Nigeria is a hustling ground for mafians all over the world. If you don't if if you don't know it, all over the world, all criminals from around the world, from Romania, go and check the richest the one of the richest man is a mafia. They are all in Nigeria, all over the world. But our brother, our brother, Mazi Osnabanyim, tried very hard to organize IPOB, to put IPOB Europe in focus since all this thing is going on. And we never lose any focus. We are committed. They, they, they look. The, the, the moment they hijack our leader, they kidnap our leader. They focus on our, our account to destroy IPOB account. They use our uh, uh, head of our uh, finance department. But they couldn't make it. They think maybe when they hold the account, when, maybe, when, when they deny IPOB that give the fund, the struggle will, will collapse. But they don't know that we already are prepared ahead of them before this. We already prepare ahead. They cannot do anything. 
to stop this struggle. Because most people that come out for this struggle, we already determine, we know the pains, we know the pains of our people. We have experienced the pains of our people. We already understand what is going on in our land, no matter we are in our side. Because the reason why most of us go outside is not because it's because of the pain, the, the what we see now, because they have already make our living outside. We are not happy living outside. Because they say that no place is better than home. But when you look at our home, it's not it's it's not comfortable to live because the intentional did it and British are involved. They are involved in all this thing going on. For example, many, many people have already understand during this uh, end SARS that British are part of the people that sponsoring SARS, paying for SARS, for organ trafficking. And mostly mo where, mo where main this thing is happening is in Biafra land. They kill our youth, they have their organ. They do a lot of a lot of things, a lot of things that, that women cannot even imagine in our land. They chase all our youth outside, away, make the land comfortable for them so that they can be able to, because look, in every, in, every ta in, a, in every group of people around the world, the most important people they protect is their women. The moment they destroy their women, they already wipe, they already destroy that, that lace. Yeah, women is very very important that is why they chase all our men now most of our men are outside full outside go to spain go to italy go to all over europe go to asia it's not okay it's not it's not normal we travel outside yes but it's not normal we leave all our okay those those are women many of them are there full of me are are are, are letting me, most of them impregnating them Make, make life uncomfortable for our men, seize all the economy, so that they can even use the money to get so many of them, impregnate them. This is part of their strategy. Well, dear friends, I want to assure you today that IPOB leadership, leading by Mazi Edosiem, is committed to make sure that our leader come out. And the, we IPOB all over the world, most IPOB also, I stand behind him that make sure that our leader will surely come out in no distant time. Sit at home, our leader have already informed us that sit at home have must stop. Because this that sit at home is the strategy of IPOB to fight the zoo. What they did is to disorganize, to destroy that sit at home. That is that is the reason why they are open every Monday sit at home, every Monday Monday sit at home to make our people to see that sit at home as unwelcome things in our land, to make it to destroy it. So that our people will not be happy anytime they mention it at home, they will be afraid. That is that is the reason why they make it every time they go for uh, 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 for fundraising, fundraising, create fake fake ESN, so that our people will hate whenever they hear ESN, they will hate it, they will hate ESN. But ESN purposely established our leader to protect our land, protect our mothers in the farm. But the moment they rendition our leader, they hold our leader, all those strategic points, they, they focus on that to destroy it. Our lady, our lady, our ESN, our IPOB leadership, the pillar of the struggle. They send all infiltrators in all our families. But all those things have come, they have come because they couldn't achieve the purpose of establishing them. All the money you have spent on them have gone because we are mentally prepared. Our leader have mentally prepared us already before this time coming. We know it will come. I know it may affect it will affect us, but we still stand strong and we are not checking. Epelima cannot do anything. We know him in Austria. We know him because of in 2008, 2000, during the lockdown, 
when we lost one of our brother here in Austria, that was the first time we have a contact with this Eberiman. All, all Eberiman focus is to, is to fundraising. That time he started telling us to make fundraising for our brother. We tell him, no, we don't need it. We should go. You stop. We don't need any fundraising for our brother. We can do it on our own. We don't need anything. We are surprised. How can we use our brother dead to be making fundraising? That that time we know, oh, this is this guy only focusing in fundraising because anything fundraising, 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 we don't allow him to continue with that fundraising. I say, you know, we don't need that. We can take care of our brother without making it public to the world. And he, and he, and, and he couldn't go on because he give, we didn't give him a chance to go on. And we do everything on our own. Our brother go home in perfect peace and, and was and was buried. Now they they recruit him again in different they use him in different strategies, but all the plans they use him have already gone. It doesn't work because we know him from day one. He's only weak minded people that that fall for his own rubbish talk because what what is he talking that we never hear? What is he going to say that we never hear? Because our leader have already informed us in everything we need to know. We already prepared our mind in whatever we are going to do. And we have our leadership that we need to be focused. Because in every, in every movement like this, the leadership is very, very important. Because in, without leadership, without the leadership, we cannot achieve anything. We start a leadership that leading us, guiding us, tell us to stop at the time we need to stop and tell us to go at the time we need to go. We start all these things on the ground. We cannot achieve anything. So, dear friends all over the world, I want to inform you, I want to assure you that we need to be strong and be focused in this struggle. Listen to Lady Biafra is very, very important. Lady Biafra is very, very important because that is where we inform our people what is going on. That is where we inform our people. Believe me, because this is our own. We spend our money to make sure that Lady Biafra is on the air. We contributed for every every month for Lady Biafra to make sure that Lady Biafra is on the air. We spend our money. We don't take. We spend our own. We are not coming for Biafra to less fun to make fun for our own good. No, we we bring, we come. We, we we are making fun. We are we are, we are giving our own money to make sure that Biafra struggle is going on and the level Biafra is on the air because the important the information is very very important. So Biafrans, listen to our happy leader and listen to. Our Lady of Biafra is very, very important. Uh, I will stop here for, for now so that I give other Biafrans a chance to speak. Jonathan, thank you, Mazi Abanim, for this opportunity. You give me, I'll stand by to, to for any other announcement. Thank you. And there was a woman, thank you for the eloquent uh, rendition. Um, like I said, uh, our people are going to be. Uh, glad that that uh, they are listening to this uh, broadcast tonight because it uh, it is uh, one of a kind. Um, without wasting much of our time, I will be calling the next person in, on, on the line, which is uh, uh, Chief Nice Mokoro. Uh, Chief Nice Mokoro, our coordinator in the United Kingdom. Uh, please uh, come and take the floor and make it snappy. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, my able leader, Onishi Mazi Abanim. Uh, thank you, Mazi Chinedu Jonathan, for your continuing wonderful work of information dissemination, education, and enlightenment on Radio Biafra. A very good evening from here, the heartland of the United Kingdom. I bring each and every one of your heavenly greetings. I say good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on your time zone, wherever you're listening from. 
Ezebo Muchineke, faithful Biafrans, friends of Biafra who listen to Radio Biafra and lovers of freedom all over the world. My name is Ikechuku Nais Mokoro. I hail from Onitami Ri Ezinihite, Wara province in Biafra land. Serving the wonderful people of Biafra as the national coordinator in the United Kingdom. It's an honor and privilege to be here tonight uh, at this momentous occasion to address certain silent points. I must acknowledge those who spoke before me, Maz from Austria, our Deputy European Rep, Mazi Azaya Oba from Republic of Ireland, for the wonderful insight they have already shown. I'll try to, uh, not to repeat what they have said, and I also try to focus on development in the United Kingdom. Before then, I'll join in heavenly supplication to Chukoka Abiyama for our amiable leader, Onyenduma Azinam de Kano, his family, his wife and children especially. I pray for angelic protection and divine provisions in this end time of tribulations and temptation. I also join in prayer petitions to our gallant men and women of the ESN, and for all Biafras, especially those who are in Biafra land, suffering from economic, political, and other forms of hardship imposed by the wicked Janjaweed regime in the Zoological Republic called Nigeria. My sincerest appreciation goes to my UK family, my cabinet, my EBU deputy, national officers, regional coordinators, zonal coordinators, heads of our national working teams, principal officers, and entire UK family for continued unalloyed support and cooperation. I appreciate you and I love you all. Please do not relent. I'm here on your behalf tonight to reaffirm the UK family's loyalty, solidarity to the leadership meant that our leaders under the able leadership of HOD Mazichi Kaidosem and all through the hierarchy of IPOB worldwide, including my own boss, Mazamanyam. We do not recognize any impost or parading as Biafra's spokesperson. As said earlier on, there is nothing like Biafra government in SI. Anyone parading himself with the designation of a prime minister of a certain non-existent government in SI is only a crime minister. Now, we want to reiterate that this struggle is about the life of great men and women who have paid the ultimate price. It's about blood, sweat, and water. And it's not something to be taken for a ride or a joke, as we have seen the criminal in Finland playing with our sovereignty, playing with our dignity, making caricature on social media with what this struggle stands for. And we say enough is enough. That joke must come to an end. Yoruba people say, joke na joke, joke na person name. And enough is enough. I also want to talk a little bit, I know my colleagues mentioned them about infiltration and detraction all we have suffered, especially since the criminal 
kidnapping of our leader and the extraordinary rendition. I don't want to reiterate that, but I want to pinpoint a, a particular issue here that concerns the United Kingdom family. We have been well aware of unrelenting detractions and infiltration attacks from people who supposedly are close, including family members of our great leader, Onyan Dumas in Namdekano, targeting the United Kingdom family. We know for sure that these threats are dead on arrival because we remain formidable and focus on our drug goal of Ahmadi case, long overdue unconditional release and full restoration of Biafra. We continue to maintain the push only in this release and Biafra independence through the most peaceful route of referendum. And as our European rep said, there is a lot of work we are doing behind the scene which we are not allowed to divulge any details of, but the results will speak for themselves. We, I want to vehemently condemn the attempts by certain elements who deceive people using the hallowed name of IPOB. And in particular, I want to speak unequivocally about the activities of one case in the Kano, also known as Kanunta, and in Nenayanya, who is, or should I say, was the head of finance of IPOV, who continue to use their stooges, mainly people who have been expelled from this struggle because of their unfaithfulness, to create confusion and defraud unsuspecting members of the public and people who want to support us. This is totally unacceptable. I want to plead with the leadership to take once and for all decisive action about the activities of these elements. They have continued to illegally solicit for funds in the name of raising, raising funds for our struggle. They hold kangaroo meetings with these renegades, encouraging insubordination, which is a capital offense in any revolutionary movement. Though their membership is just a handful, about six, seven people from our intelligence on them. But the, the, the nuisance they are creating, especially online, by sending false information, by spreading disinformation amongst our families and members must be caught. Kanunta is not a member of IPOB in the United Kingdom. Nenyanya is not a member of IPOB in the United Kingdom. Why they will continue to disobey all the rules of the book in the United Kingdom beggars believe. I don't want to go too much into detail, but this is something that is unacceptable in the UK. We have intelligently monitored them and fired and it's high time decisive action is taken to stop this because enough is enough. We also want to reiterate that part of the disinformation going on within our struggle is you know is a well orchestrated, well funded machinery which the zoo government uh, government pays hundreds of millions of US dollars to finance, ensuring that they penetrate key information platforms to paint IPOB in the bad light, to try to convince the world that we are who we are not. They tried it with the BBC. Last year we fought you know a monumental battle with the BBC and we are we are we are winning, or should I say we have won. 
to dispel their disinformation. But Zoo will not give up. Instead of spending money to develop places, to create jobs, to solve the social economic problems of the land, which if had been listened to when Colonel F, uh, Major General Effia handed over the remnant of our territory after the genocide, the whole civil war. He warned them that if they don't take care of Biafrans and children of Biafra, a time will come when the new generation will rise to ask the same question that led to our insurrection in the first place. And that is exactly what happened. But instead of zero to invest in human capital development and other infrastructural development, they prefer to send capital flights, send the money overseas, to use it to, to, to bribe the West, Britain, America, France, and the rest of the criminal code to keep us down. They are the same game again. They've been doing it here, spending valuable resources that can transform Biafra land on propaganda. One recent issue is the one you can find even on Wikipedia, where he stated their leader of IPOB, Nam De Kano, and then a spokesperson, a non-existent spokesperson position, and one of the name is featured. Somebody was paid to write that junk and infiltrate it into the engine or information engine that is Wikipedia. Our people say, if we continue to allow these little things, little inputs, happen, they become numb. They become the history. They become the, the, the truth, in quotes. So it's high time that we march force with force intellectually to debunk every piece of information that is incorrect about Biafra and IPOB. This is a challenge to the leadership, a challenge to the, uh, to the IPOB media warrior team. And the rest of us is a collective challenge. It's not just one person or a department. Here also in the United Kingdom, we have carried that challenge on head on. We are very focused. We are not, we, 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 this leadership in the UK hasn't really got time, to be honest, for shenanigans. We've been very laser focused on projects and programs and activities, positive activities that impact meaningfully and gainfully to our struggle without any disrespect to the rest of the great families all over the world. Our strategic approach here in the UK in the last one year and a half is one that the rest of the world should try to emulate and understand how it works. I strongly believe that if all of us replicate and improve on that, I'm not, we're not saying we are the best, Biafra will come sooner rather than later. So what we are doing what we are doing, regardless of all these little shenanigans going on here and there. Page, people who are fighting for their stomach infrastructure, people who have no, no focus, no vision, no direction, thinking that Biafra struggle or Biafra restoration mission is one avenue for aggrandizement or enrichment. We have launched a campaign which we call Release Him Now. Enough is enough. The whole of the United Kingdom, this summer season, the, the whole of the United Kingdom is being covered with posters of Onion Do. Asking the question, why after two years, a British national is being held in illegal detention situation, and still written to this cause. We are asking the question. We have taken the battle to the 368 members of parliament, the British parliament including even going as far as the devolved government in Scotland 
and talking about we have engaged them to answer this question. We are going down to school children to conscientize them, to sensitize them, to ask their parents. Some of their parents are these MPs we, are talk we talk about. They are the mayors, they are the councillors, they are the lawmakers of this country. Such a thing cannot happen in this country to a white Britain. So why is it happening to us? We are also doing the same with our people. This is the season where they go about EDG here, left, right, and center. I'm a very cultural person. I'm a, I'm a traditional chief. But I've declared to our people that this is not a time for merriment and jamborees. It is, it's a time for deep reflection and action. We are meeting them at the point of their entertainment and merriment. All over UK, starting from this Saturday, where they are doing their Igbo Day in Coventry. We are going to send the message of truth to them and evangelize them and continue to ask the same question which we're asking them. Last year, they said to oh, us, so Oh, no, they go to Jiren and Wire. Uh, obedient. Obito B must be, must be, he's the best. Of course, we know, personally, I, I acknowledge that. But we know that so we will do. To him, or and their declaration was that if they don't give this thing to Peter B, therefore right here we come. They have not given it to Peter B, even though it was clear and clear that he won it. Would they give it to Peter B? Your guess is as good as mine. So my question is, think it all. Why can't all these people who I don't, I do not mean to disrespect anybody who are really living, who are living the life of lies, who are telling themselves lies by believing that zoo will be transformed, that there will be a new Nigeria as if the old Nigeria, of course, the old Nigeria is dead anywhere since 2014. What is going on in the zoo since 2015 is that APC has been conducting a protracted, if you like, a prolonged funeral of Nigeria, which died in 2014. And that is why nothing is working. They bring Buhari, the living one and the dead one, continued no, no progress. Now they brought uh, Tinubu. We don't know whether it's half alive or half dead. Nothing is working. Because since 2014, Nigeria expired. This country knows it. The whole world knows the truth. They just decided to prolong the funeral. And for nine years, they are still conducting funeral service. So it's high time that we moved on and match with the truth. Yes, sir, a professional way of going on in uh, Africa, West Africa in particular. But we must indigenize ours because the quest for the Afro restoration is not uh, the promotion of military junta, which can never displace democracy. But our quest is a legitimate cause for a restoration by the legal route of plebiscite. Let the people decide what they want and thereafter let democracy this, you know, you know, take the order of the day. So we must continue to carry this message to our people, to our friends, to our immediate communities wherever they are. There is no question for me about whether we are there is one IPOB or not. There is only one IPOB the whole world knows it. There is no question about who is the leader of IPOB. They know the truth. Forget about the fabrications. I haven't got time for that. I am hitting the head and the nail at the pertinent issues and the questions that we must ask and the authorities that we must speak through to to get the answers we, we need. Today, not tomorrow. I'm glad that these developments are going on. The whole world now knows who the real terrorists are. The whole world now understands that the ruling rogue regime at the APC in Nigeria is the real terrorist. Asari Dokubo, the Greek pig, has confessed inadvertently by his own mouth that all the stories about the so called unknown gunmen, which they were using to tag IPOB bad name to try to label us terrorists. It's a contract, contract between his illegal militia group, Killer Squad, 
and the ruling Fulani government of Missouri. And that contract has been renewed by this new illegitimate government. So the, the, the great dear friends, friends of dear friends, lovers of freedom, my message is that you, you cannot supplant good with evil. You cannot duplicate what is good with, an, with evil. And that's what is happening with even every man. In every revolutionary movement, go and do your research, even the ANC and the rest. There was always an attempt by the imperialists or the slave masters or those who benefit from that bad system to duplicate that revolutionary movement. So personally, I'm not surprised that we are encountering people like Erema and their allies. We will encounter more. That's why we must remain resolute, stay strong, and firm focus on what we are doing. I thank every, every one of us once again. I don't want to take too much of our time at this stage, but if there are questions or comments that will warrant my coming in, it will be my honor and pleasure to chip in again. Lastly, I also want to emphasize on the importance of great positive media presence. I cannot um, appreciate and love enough the wonderful work Radio Biafra is doing. That work must be complemented by the television version of our platform. And that's where the BTV comes in. I know that we are working hard to get BTV on stream in no distant time. I know the power of tele television. I worked in television for more than eight years. So I know for sure that once BTV comes on, the wonderful work Radio Biafra is doing will be magnified, will be amplified. And also our all our members continue on social media, match them first by first, whether it's Twitter or now X or any other platform, show your presence there. Debunk every rubbish they say. Be, be polite, but be, be, be very, very structured. Have your facts and figures and dismantle all their lies. Thank you very much once again. Ndewo no Muchineke. Ndewo. Ndewo Chief. Chief Nice Mokuru. And you have done justice to tonight's program with on a different dimension. You have touched areas that is already untouched tonight. So we are glad and I'm sure beer friends are, are really uh, enjoying tonight's program with all the details and the, all the information that they need to get prepared for what is um, what is coming and what is uh, what is already on the ground. Uh, like I said at the beginning, information is power and what we are giving them tonight is that power that they may get prepared for the unforeseen and for all the imaginations of the, our enemies and all the saboteurs that, that have been deep, they can how derail our struggle or destroy what we are doing. But uh, they have failed woefully, and that's why we're here tonight to confirm to their friends that they have failed indefinitely, indefinitely and they will continue to fail uh, as long as this struggle is concerned. Our leader must be released unconditionally and very soon because we are doing extraordinarily, uh, um, uh, you know, big, much work to ensure that uh, this is done as soon as possible. And I'm sure some criminals will also come to claim glory, just like they say, monkey, they walk, baboon, they shop. That's what they are doing. They are soppers who have come through the back door in order to see if they can steal, to kill and destroy. But we have come here tonight to strip them naked before the world and to shame them, although they are already shameless, but we continue to shame them until they notice that they are, their nakedness has been exposed. They were watching Eka, you have done very well. Let me let me go forward now to call uh, the next person, uh, which is in the person of uh, Mazi Ugo Keke Oda, our national coordinator in Italy. Mas, please, the floor is yours now. They were watching Eka. Um, I greet everybody. Um, good evening, fellow Bear France. Um, my name is Mazi Oda Keke Ugo the Italian national coordinator. 
I thank uh, the European rep, the deputy European rep, and the uh, Mazi Jonathan Chinedu. Um, I want to go straight to tell you what is going on in Italy. Italy is okay. We don't have any problem with anybody. We don't have duplicate here in Italy. Italy is one family. IPOB is one. We don't have any duplicate in Italy. I still thank all my executive members here in Italy, the coordinators who are uh, with shoulder to shoulder with me here fighting the, the, the evil ones. But I think now in Italy, I think we are good to go. We are okay. We don't have any problem. Um, the only thing I want to emphasize, because uh, this, you people have said it all, um, what I want to chip in here is um, we don't have any shoulder to shoulder with uh, Niger. IPOB worldwide don't have any hand shoulder to shoulder with Niger. Uh, we are IPOB and we are one family. Anything you don't hear from the rest, we don't hear to, to from Mars, China, and we we'll always do, do the wonderful job coming to Radio Biafra to analyze what is going on in Biafra land. I don't think you're going to Facebook to go and waste your time there instead of wasting your time to come to the meeting and know what is going on. No, um, Biafra is all over the world. What we are saying here today is to make the, to make the threat uh, to um, emphasize what is going on in all over the world. But Biafra is one. IPOB doesn't have any duplicate. Uh, Onion Dumasina and the Kalu is the head, and he is not debatable. Anybody that is telling you that um, Mazichi Gosdosium is not the head, or their siblings is the in charge, we don't know about them. They are using the money to fight us, which is the money between. <laughs> the debt these people are using to fight Biafrans. Biafrans all over the world. You should ask yourself questions. We are these people are getting this money they are using always. Simon Eba doesn't go out, out of Finland. Your people should give him this a bet. He normally go to sign something in the city of the, the Helsinki. He can never leave that Finland. If that guy will stay in that one room trying to um, I'm even I'm sorry to call that name here in Radio Biafra, honestly. That uh, Berimadia in Finland trying to call people like Mazi, Mazi, Mazi Azayo Basse, the helmet we always use here for, for basic. Doing Yahoo Yahoo on you people said nobody will stand to ask questions. If you want to debate these people, don't debate them and ask simple questions, you will see they will remove you. There's even the siblings of Onion do debate them and ask them questions, they will remove you immediately. They can't debate any question because they know what they are doing. They know the truth. So we are friends all over the world. I just want to make my own very shortly. We are good to go here in Italy. Italy has no problem. And uh, I thank all my coordinators here in Italy. We are doing wonderfully well to fight the evil they have brought to us uh, in these uh, two years. Two is I still want to thank you all the whole IPOB members all over the world. Did you see these two years? All the whole hardcores who stand firm to fight this mess, this uh, this fight we are fighting today. You people is the hardcores. You people knows what is really going on. You people is that 100 men Onion D is talking about. 100 men is not when you can't and reach 100, you will stop. Onion do know what he meant by saying 100 men. I thank you all over the world, dear friends. And I wish you all the best, and we will keep on fighting. Onye na bosu na ba libo bo na aga onye zike. Nde wano muchine ke mazaba ni. I will leave it at that. I will stand by. Nde wano maza. Nde wano muchine. Nde wano. Nde wano maziuda. You have done very well. Short and simple, and the message has sink. We believe uh, our friends uh, have received your contribution tonight. Uh, as we are moving forward. Uh, like I said, we will be coming um, every third, third day, uh, group by group, from IPOB Europe National Coordinators. We will be here back on, on Saturday to enlighten our people and to inform them 
um, uh, our solidarity, about our solidarity with Mazin Amdekan and this particular GOS of IPOB leadership headed by Masjik Edozim. We are coming here to strengthen um, our our position and, and uh, renew our allegiance to Mazin Amdekan, who remains our leader wherever he is. Um, we believe that uh, uh, those who are holding him now, they are no more comfortable because calamity is falling upon them by the day. So in order not to waste much time, let me call um, our brother, uh, Mazi uh, Innocent Abakurong, who is our coordinator in Czech Republic, to come also to address their family. Mazi, please, the floor is yours now. Mazi Abakurong, Deo. I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, unmute yourself, Marge. Unmute. Press the, yeah, unmute and then speak. Okay. Yes, so, um, not, yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to say, I want to extend my greetings to our Onyendu Marge Namdi Okukano. Um, we all are solidly behind him in Czech Republic, as I am the coordinator in Czech. Um, I want to introduce myself. I am from Awo Mama. Awo Olu province. My name is Innocent Ifai Chuku Abapurong. By the special grace of God, I am serving the indigenous people of Biafra in Czech Republic as the national coordinator. I want to renew my allegiance to the DOS. They are doing wonderfully well. Uh, my greetings to Mazi Chika Edozium. My greetings to Mazi Abanim, the European rep and all the members of the DOS. I want to start by saying that Czech Republic is intact under Mazi Namdi Okukano. For those of them that wanted to play the ball overhead, they've seen that um, there's no way they can score the goal. They have tried, but they didn't succeed. Mazi, am I coming out clear? Yes, go ahead, Mazi. We are hearing you clearly. Go ahead. Okay. So um, let me recap. I want to tell the people that are trying to play the ball overhead here in the Czech Republic. They've tried so many times. They didn't succeed. I know they will keep trying, but they will never succeed. Czech Republic, as far as I know, we are all under the leadership of IPOB headed by Mazi Namdi Okukano and also the POS headed by Mazi Chika Edozim. For those of us here in Czech that are trying to play the ball overhead to score goals, they did it many times, but they've seen there's no way they can score the goal. Um, insubordination is a capital offense. Any member of IPOB in Czech Republic does not, that does not go by the rule knows what he or she will face, especially from me, before he gets to the head office. We all are praying for long live of Amazin Namdi Oku And we are praying that he will regain the freedom as soon as possible because the Nigerian government, they have done their best or rather they've done their worst. 
Some people here, some people in Czech Republic, we are bribed to destabilize IPOB in Czech. But they didn't succeed. And they will never succeed. Eperima and his group, they've tried to get IPOB under their foothold. But they didn't succeed and they will never succeed. The head of finance and all of them, they've done their best, they've done their worst, but Czech Republic, we are not giving in to whatever they are planning. They said two heads are better than one. I also want to thank my deputy, Mazi Miracle Aromo. This guy is wonderfully doing well. Now, let me go straight to the point. Everybody have heard about the confession Asari Dokubo made. All the people, all our brothers and sisters, they have killed. Are they going to come back? Nowhere. So there is no forgiveness. We will never forgive them. If anybody can, anybody, I am not going to forgive all the people that are connected to the death of my brother, Ikonso. I will never forgive them. Mazinando Kukano, our supreme leader, must have to be released unconditionally. Nothing attached to it. The court have set him free so many times by the federal government of the full have used to obey the court order, cited by the British government. They will get anybody listening to this radio genocide on Biafra. We have been blessed by God. I want to fall in on his or her where you. You get the authentic information. You get the information on what is freedom. But which is no other place than Radio Biafra. Greetings to the media world. They are doing great. They are doing marvelously well. Sure, dear. So you have to review who you follow before you retweet whatever they, they have tweeted before. You're following as I was, I have tweeted. And see if we can retweet it or not. Finance, um, like Mazi Abalim said, the the movement. But they did, we are like, I mean, if it is in the Igbo, um, there is an M they call Mwachine Mene, Mwa Oko Pane Yirawa. So these two names, I mean, look at them synonymously. You will see the difference and you see how they connected. IPOB worldwide, there is no derailment. When you block us this way, we go that way. We are seven foot ahead of them. We are more steps ahead of them. The Nigerian government will never stop. They will never stop to get people to derail us. But remember, all this money they are spending to get IPOB derailed are being gotten from Biafra land. The money is being gotten from Biafra land. There's no other place. There's no other income. Now, the people in Angola, the people in Nigeria, they are killing the Igbo people living in those countries. How do we get them to know that these people are not part of the war that Nigeria is trying to wage against them? It's by tweeting, by disseminating the truth, telling the people what is going on outside the Nigeria and inside the Nigeria. Look at how they're killing our people every now and then. And Eberima is there supporting them. This is one of the reasons I said we cannot forgive 
and we cannot forget every person that died because of a buried man will be noted and he's going to account for them not only a buried man all the politicians in their front land that are not speaking up they will have their dues to pay when the time comes and the time is coming it's not going to be long um i want to that um, the DOS, please keep it up. Mazichina Sawol, you're doing a fantastic job. All the members of DOS, they are doing great. But please, I want you all to keep it up. If we look into the DOS very well, some of these people that fallout they were members of the dos including the accountant general so leave any stone unturned if you see the ones that are not playing dancing to the tune of what we are doing please before they sell out house i mean get rid of that person i want to to the DOS, I want to renew my allegiance to Mazin Nandekano. And I am in this analysis for the fact that I am still the national coordinator in Czech Republic. All the people, all my members in Czech Republic, all the family we have, we are under Mazin Nandekano. There's no going back. And if I suspect that anyone is not following us, um the person knows how i do my thing i'm not coming here to say it i will do this i will do that no that is why most of them say that i'm too rigid some of them have come in here to hijack the family but they had no chance but the people that volunteered to be our media head their correspondent head they i mean they've seen that the opportunity is not there for them to do what they want. So they left. And most people are saying that I am too rigid in Czech Republic. Yes, I will remain rigid. I even want to be more rigid than I am now. I have no enemy. I have no friend. As long as we are under the IPOB led by Mazin Namdekano, you are my brother. Whatever the Ekberima is doing, he is not a member of IPOB and he will never be a member. Now, everybody should watch out. So many people are going to fall out. So many. Mazen Namdekan said it before. At a time like this, we will be witnessing things like this. And many more are going to come. Many more are going to come. I think I will stop here um i don't know if i've um, exceeded the time but i will give the mic back to mazi about him i will stand by if there's any question to ask me i am here to answer it as long as czech republic is concerned i also want to thank i also want to thank mazi chinedu for hosting us <laughs> mazi chinedu you are doing a great job so most of the time that i call I know the line must have been busy. My line doesn't go through. So most of the time I wanted to talk one or two things, but I doesn't get through. But it's not your fault. I'm not putting the blame on you. Thank you very much for doing the great job. Thank you for doing the good job. I hand over the mic to you now. Thank you, sir. You have done very well. You've done justice to the program. Um, their friends must be glad that we came tonight and we're like i said we will continue to come from time to time batch by batch until all the coordinators in europe have spoken until they have addressed their friends and uh, especially those in their countries of jurisdiction um we want to use this opportunity to thank those who have listened tonight and pray that uh, 
the message we have brought tonight will sink and uh, jump in it that to be a fruit because that's our own coming up tonight to speak so them to uh, those lions who have come out to see who them who to um but before one is before one bear friends to be warm so that they can be armed and against of our enemies who have slowly come to turn this struggle into franchise uh into to enrich themselves uh, upon the blood of their friends and this is unacceptable before god and before man so um we want to uh, close by saying that we will continue to bless uh, ipub members worldwide strengthen those who are honestly and consciously committed into the Biafra project. He will continue to protect and guide Mazinam the Khan and his family, especially his uh, Lolo, Jechuku Khan. She shall be strengthened. And uh, we know how difficult it is for her, but Chukwabiyama will never abandon his own. Pray for you, Lolo. We pray for your family, pray for IPOB families worldwide and that Chukwu Kema will continue to sustain each and every one of us. Give us all the enablement to get this prayer restored as soon as uh, possible. And our leader will be released imminently. That is our prayer. And it is in the name of Chukwu Kema who have prayed it. We have come to the end of the program for night. We are going to come back on Saturday. Thank you so much for hosting us and thank you for doing the good work. Good, good work. Your friends are delighted with what you are doing and all other uh, radio presenters. Thank you so much, Marcy. They were watching it. All here, your friends. Yeah, probably had it. Yes, we have we have come to the end of tonight's program. We are going to come back again on Saturday uh, with another batch of national coordinators. Yes, uh, yes. In Europe, until all of them have addressed their first. That's our program. Thank you so much. There were there were more than There were. And all the coordinators that have spoken, we must continue soldiering on because we cannot go back. We have no back to go to. IPOB, the structure of IPOB is working and we are moving on. Thank you for your renditions and speeches to Pierre France and all uh, lovers of freedom all over the world. Pierre France and lovers of freedom, this is where we come to the end of the program. Tomorrow is another day. We must continue doing what we are doing because we have no back to go to. If we stop this, we are all perishing. That is the reality. Therefore, Biafra remains our ideology. Biafra remains our religion. Biafra remains our focus. Therefore, we have to continue. From me, Mars, Jonathan, Chinedu, it is simply good night. You cook it up, ya ma, omo bia frane kene gyo. Ona ni juru ne kele bi merendo de ranyo. Ona ni juru ne kene igwe ne chendo ani ne kele gyo. Omo ipo bisi gina re kene. 
Nandi de bere nandi kanu onani juru ne keleo. Announcement, announcement, announcement. There will be seven days general thanksgiving and praises to Chukwu Kika Biyama by IPOB and Biafrans worldwide from 1st to 7th December 2023. The theme is Whoso offered praise glorified me. And to him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. Taken from Psalm 50, verse 23. Remember that on Radio Biafra is where we worship, and Chukwokika Biyama is our God. So everyone is expected to go to his or her place of worship to thank our Father Chukwokika Biyama. On behalf of Biafra Nation and our leader, Mazin Namdekanu, the details of day-to-day schedule activities are found on all our platforms on social media. Unto the Chukwokika Biyama, do we give glory, honor, power, majesty, adoration, adulation, praise, worship, and thanksgiving, forever and ever. Ise, 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 prepared by a call for prayer online group of IPOB members. Shalom. Umo <speaking in Spanish> On any juru ne kene igwe ne chen do any ne kele gyo umu IPO bisi gina re kene nandi debere nande kanu on any juru ne kele o announcement announcement announcement. There will be seven days general thanksgiving and praises to Chukwokika Biyama by IPOB and Biafrans worldwide from 1st to 7th December 2023. The theme is Whoso offered praise glorified me. And to him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. Taken from Psalm 50, verse 23. Remember that on Radio Biafra is where we worship, and Chukwokika Biyama is our God. So everyone is expected to go to his or her place of worship to thank our Father Chukwokika Biyama. On behalf of Biafra Nation and our leader, Mazin Namdekanu, the details of day-to-day schedule activities are found on all our platforms on social media. Unto the Chukwokika Biyama, do we give glory, honor, power, majesty, adoration, adulation, praise, worship, and thanksgiving, Forever and ever. Ise, 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 prepared by a call for prayer online group of IPOB members. Shalom. Omo <laughs> On any juru ne kene igwe ne chen do any ne kele gyo umu IPO bisi gina re kene nandi debere nande kanu on any juru ne kele o announcement announcement announcement. 
There will be seven days general thanksgiving and praises to Chukwokika Biyama by IPOB and Biafrans worldwide from 1st to 7th December 2023. The theme is, Whoso offered praise glorified me. And to him that ordered his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. Taken from Psalm 50, verse 23. Remember that on Radio Biafra is where we worship, and Chukwokika Biyama is our God. So everyone is expected to go to his or her place of worship to thank our Father Chukwokika Biyama. On behalf of Biafra Nation and our leader, Mazin Namdekanu, the details of day-to-day -day schedule activities are found on all our platforms on social media. Unto the Chukokika Biyama do we give glory, honor, power, majesty, adoration, adulation, praise, worship, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Ise, 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 prepared by a call for prayer online group of IPOB members. Shalom. Chukwoki kabia ma omo bia fra neke nege o Ono anyi juru neke le bi mere ndo de ranyo Ono anyi juru neke ne igwe ne chendo anyi neke lege o Omo alpio bisigi na reke ne Nandu i debere nande kanu o Onani juru ne keleo. Announcement, announcement, announcement. There will be seven days general thanksgiving and praises to Chukwokika Biyama by IPOB and Biafrans worldwide from 1st to 7th December 2023. The theme is, Whoso offered praise glorified me, and to him that ordered his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. Taken from Psalm 50, verse 23. Remember that on Radio Biafra is where we worship, and Chukwokika Biyama is our God. So everyone is expected to go to his or her place of worship to thank our father Chukwokika Biyama on behalf of Biafra Nation and our leader Mazin Namdekanu. The details of day-to-day -day schedule activities are found on all our platforms on social media. Unto the Chukwokika Biyama do we give glory, honor, power, majesty, adoration, adulation, praise, worship, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Ise, 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 prepared by a call for prayer online group of IPOB members. Shalom. And that's why, that's why they find it very difficult, and they have no laws, authorities, or even staff to rely upon in obtaining that order. Because an order of stay is only permissible, grantable in civil, civil matters, not in criminal matters. Or in situations where someone has been convicted of and sentenced to death. But once an order of discharge and acquittal, like in this case, but what was granted in Namdekano's case is more than order of acquittal. The system will walk, walk, free, walk out of the court if you're person. If in detention, the person will be released immediately. And remind, remind, let me also be reminded that the appeal also made an order for him to be released unconditionally. So the order today, saying the execution of the judgment of the appeal, 
was not known to, was not founded on law, was not founded on non-statute law or any legal discourse. It's an in application predicated on civil authorities, civil, civil decisions of the Supreme Court. We cannot fight them. It has not happened before. Throughout the students in this country, it has not happened before. This is the first time we are seeing where a citizen is granted and is, is charged by the other of court, prohibited from being detained or it or tried or any, in any court on any allegations on that. Case. And another same discussion as order is made. It has not happened before. We cannot fight them. With great respect to, to, to the justice of the appeal, I granted that order. We went to Supreme Court. Uh, we file application, we have to appeal again that So uh, apparently, we have two appeals coming up for determination on 14th, hearing on 14th of uh, September 2023. Appeal against the judgment of the appeal, and also appeal we file the other state execution of the appeal. Because that order, that order, that, that, that decision cannot stand in the face of law. However, when it's not founded in law, founded in legal, legal disturbance, is it's other on an order founded on civil to the students, civil to the state of the court. So that's why we are today. Apart from this, we also have other matters in the high court, if I call like one is coming up next week for the time for delivery. Another an application will file last year by our new counsel, Professor Michael Zekomese, also, uh, which uh, seeking for under of mandamus. To compel the SSS to allow Martin Nam can access to the medical doctors and also avail of record, uh, medical records and other files. So the application has been entertained on the merits and it's come up for hearing on next week, Thursday. So, um, what a best I can tell you that Nam Dekano is being today unconditionally detained in custody of uh, the SSS in So it's very confirming. Yeah, because there's no, as far as I'm concerned, that order which is charging and comes before a detention and trial before any court has not got a fair court. But the order is still effective until when it's set aside. So, his further detention today in the custody of the SSS in solitary confinement is being is unconstitutional, illegal. And not proceed. So, and we, of, of course, uh, the system, we operate a system with uh, no respect for rule of law. It's our thinking that the new government in power should have done the needful by giving the rest that this judgment must be obeyed immediately without wasting time. So, but we're hopeful. And also, uh, we, we believe that courts will do justice to the, to, the, to the case. Thank you. All right, there are also the arguments that. Uh, uh, and can also have some other cases at the federal high court. Can you probably shed light on that? Do you want the one you people fight the government is claiming? We have two sources of system today before the federal high court. Uh, one on order of manual of judgment, the second an order, and a written formal application we have got to interfere in sections of the domestic and international laws which the federal government uh, violated in the course of its uh, abduction, through abduction in Kenya and the star edition to Nigeria. And incidentally, the application the was filed before the judgment of court of appeal was delivered on October 13th. So the four fundamental issues Questions we are, we are raising for termination, raise for termination by prior court have been taken care of by the judgment of court of appeal in press. So we are just there for the court to grant our release. No way, you know, you set out questions for court attempt to determine the one that determine the process. The court will proceed to grant your release. So in this case, the questions we are asking the court to determine, to ask, they are pointing out the violated in the course of his abduction in Kenya and as far as relation to Nigeria has been effectively determined by the Jonathan Court of Young, delivered on, on uh, October 13, 2022. So what we are there now for is for the court to proceed because that judgment is binding on the Federal High Court. It's for the court to proceed to grant the release of for and it's coming up on October 25th for for hearing. So Alright, there are those who have argued, I don't know rightly or wrongly that probably the release of Nandek may to the southeast. What's your take on that? So 
sure, sure. Because it's still um the consolidation of in the kind of smacks of greatest grieving justice for the four of us. Uh, as we are free away, now the Canon has never committed an offense not too long. So, um, he's merely advocating his right to self determination. And that's why you can see that the federal government has been running from pillar to pole before we went to court of appeal, seeking for amending charges against him from one count, from five count to seven count, from seven count to eleven count, from eleven count to fifteen count. And at the end of the day, the entire charge, entire charge has been dismissed by the court of appeal. Because the charge has no, it cannot stand on the face of law. There's no proof evidence attached to it. So they have nothing against him because he's ex operating within the constitutional ban, the right to right of right to self determination, which is an inalienable right. So his adoption in Kenya and consequent return to Nigeria provoke civil protests in South East. People who have been sidelined have been. And, uh, has been treated like slaves in the scheme of things in the federation. We are today being treated like, like first class citizens in the country. They are more regards for people of the southeast. So, and it's only the mouthpiece of the people. Now, the is the only person who can, who can spot the truth to the authority without minding us to court. So, he has not done wrong, he has never committed an offense in the doing. Because if I committed an offense in the doing, without the, 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 the charge prepared against him, will be so soft. There's no offense in law he has committed. So, however, we are, uh, of course, we are aware that our people are in with predicament today. And of course, we must have been aware that he has a certain health status. He has been, uh, he has been having serious medical condition, which has not been effectively tackled in the custody of the SS where he's been incarcerated today. So, and they are privy to these information, and so they are privy to this ordeal. So they are not happy, and uh, though of course they are aware that some characters uh, will take advantage of that situation to be unleashing mayhem in the on the people, uh, the people of the South East. So that's what's playing out. Now, of course, I will go and I will get into that because I need to, I need to, I need, to, I need people to understand the background, how it started, and uh, and how it metamorphosed to where we are today, and people should also be properly informed to know. That I'm, I I know the case, the case just placed shortly before the program starts because um people will show when it comes to the to the criminal activities going on in the south east today and also before he was abducted and his present position and that which we pledged probably a while ago it was what he said in open court of and I said on presently on 19th of June 2021 and spent a delay dedicated to all forms of beating and inhuman treatment in Kenya. So before it was a summary addition to Nigeria on that on, on, on eight days after. So taken to court in Nigeria on 19th of, of, um, of June, without reference to us, we are not notified about his presence in court, about the part that is being brought to court on that day. So he was taken to court, we are in the court in the end of the So then our uh, people protested about the treatment made out to him, about the manner in which he was treated. So mm. I was an, an announcement was made for staff home by the IPOB leadership. Uh, so and that was observed by the people of the the observed who had the in sympathy and in solidarity with them. So, a few days after, about the week on the Monday of the third after, got instructed in the council. I want me to be, I want to be put here clear to be specifically in the partnership to call up this task one. Because we understand that it's working a great injustice against our people. And if it's not where money is, some two elements, we we'll take advantage of that to cause problem, which is what is playing out now. So, and they obeyed him, obeyed him and called on the staff home. But however, there are things that have happened before then. There are people that uh, there are here of stopping the powers, which you don't have. Uh, so, it has an advantage of an opportunity to launch their business. 
the amount of things in the line. But I'm not saying they're launching themselves. They're launching their criminal activities in the land line. So they use the opportunity, added by those who are supposed to understand the plight of mass in America, added them in going ahead to the fear incident at home. They will stand, they will, they will sit and walk up the polling money and say that uh, today is at home. So, and he is getting this briefings on a daily basis. And when it has gotten to a level that he will speak out, on June 28th, he came out to say those things. And he can ask outside of that that he wasn't, he was not happy when he was saying it. And he was not told to say it. He was not told to say it. He had it, he was not saying he had it, he, 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 he saw the opportunity, he now passed that message to the people to understand that it's not part of them and they're not working for him. Because now they can't a peaceful person and they run a peaceful global movement. So, and they continue to exploit it. Now, I will say this to you what's happening in the South East on account of incidents of some big is headed by Nigerian security agents. Because What's this playing out there? Tell me they're not having this intelligence about. And I can assure you, you're into media, the facts. They have not rules to condemn the activities pronouncement, not one day. Now, it was a critic, a script, which is targeted towards black belling this global this movement. In brackets, in, in brackets, in brackets, in brackets. Sometime in March last year, this point here, in March last year, um, that was precisely on a, on, on, a, on March, oh, yes, March, March last year, the, 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 the Global Authority Index made a publication classifying IPUB as a dangerous group. IPUB has before them making publications, distancing themselves from the activities, from famous activists of Simon Ed and Group, who are purporting to be acting from Nambi Canada IPUB. Before then, he was he baptized himself as Nambi Canada. From there, they come across into into um into sports festival for IPB. From the when it became when it became clear to him that IPB has neutralized that position. He now uh uh the study for the the position of Prime Minister of um the Afran, the Afran government in exile. So to enable him to continue. But in actual fact he's not working for Nandican. And I know why I'm doing this with them. So where because I'm uh, why the why they the issue this publication and I knew really because I knew really issued a rejoinder on 16th of March, 2003, determining the activities of Simon Evan Group and Criminal Grants. And also pointing to the fact that I think as a peaceful global movement have listened themselves in those publications. And also volunteer to assist the security agents in fiction of these criminal elements. This are not something in the world of mouth is, is containing that broad publication which I will not, I will not mention the dates, it's done. So on, on March 17th, I could just to pitch an opportunity to this. A threat, a letter was sent to go and let the question. The question for them to retract the situation of the complaint as submission by IPUB and my humble self as prior to IPUB. They, on 27th of March, the faction retracting that classification. I'm talking about global person index. They, they, they retract that complication. Now, IPUB, by the publication, 21, distancing themselves from activity and it. Who I doubt the process from who saw the gap created by the temporary
and third July 2003. These are different publications from IPB as a pre-school global movement. These are seen themselves from the active society on Epa. And also, in that thing I just put a debt. In there. Because I can tell you also with a friend of mine who lost the joint system uh, during uh, when he was a joint tenant. I was asking him uh, whether it was done. He said, uh, it's not uh, but can let me tell something. But my, my young guy, plus his husband, is spending the much money. That they are, they are negotiating, that the Indo is negotiating with people, the people, the de facto, the de facto government in power, in Nemo State. You know what I mean by de facto government? People who are, who are in charge of certain places. Because from part of Nemo State. Non state actors. Yeah, 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 from student to this criminal element. They can tell you this. They are negotiating with them to agree a date and time. For the barrier. But why did they can't come there? This is very on the ground. They can't come there. And you won't tell me that state government is not away. And you won't tell me that the United States government is not away. Fine. Houses of members of the IPLB. You know, some people have nothing to learn it. They will go to the houses and we are not our. You won't see them again. Really? Mm -hmm. So, so, um, uh, I also issued, I also issued publication, but still not the kind of mandated me. This publication, I think that is lawyer, a lawyer to IPUB. I issued this publication, this person, the activities of Simon Eka from March in Africa. This, uh, this publication is yeah, dated 1st of October 2022. Another one was issued on 10th of November 2022. And I will issue on 17th of November 2022. And I will issue on 20th of November 2022. Then I will get on 5th of December. I was granted a four hour 30 minutes interview. When I discussed a number of issues, I took time in the language to educate our people. And what now they can stand for. And tell the messages from now they can convey the message from now they can. That you should stop listening to someone who is advocating, advocating violence. That's not working for him. Then, the person gave them timeline within which the offer will come. He said, the person, someone ever told them that the offer will come in just 10 hours, about 158 days, whatever about. And I said, tables are gifted. They are full of wisdom. Can't you make use of that number six? How can you believe that someone, someone who said is working for the release of him down the camp is not giving you time? The offer will come. You don't talk about his release. You talk about when the offer will come. I also proceed to tell them that he has always sent the worships uh, which has been which has been uh, exported to Nigeria and probably then at the time we have discussed at uh, uh, the time the program was going on that they are being cited along the Babylonian with the Niger and all one. I said, what what kind of what, what are you referring to? These are certain points I was able to identify for them. I said, this is not this can't happen, it's not happening. What takes something days and ages? Well, it's not worship, not worship. So, time to make the financial initiative. We are talking about now the cancer list. Government is going to get only from pillar to post. They cannot help it. Because they have no option. They have no option than to release. You know, it's by his side. They cannot deny him beyond point. They are dragging their feet. They cannot, they cannot, they can, they, they, there's a limit to where they can go. I know I want to be quoted today very clearly. Here on the canon, Martin on the canon, that is specific instruction to follow him. Not to him, I don't mention it. It's not saying to fight that in Finland. And the feedback he got from them was that I've been fine. The feedback he got from them that what I've shown has been fine. So fight actually against someone that now, on the team in the in the south east. On the map, they should fight that. Oh, that that instruction. The feedback in the canton was that action. But in fact, in fact, nothing has been done. 
another thing, I may be asking, and when it comes out, everything will be in you. No, for those, for those who are saying that part of the religion of bad bandos, let me say this to you. I am IPOD lead council today. I've been handling today, we have over 1,000 cases. Because the virus caught in the South East in Nigeria, in Africa here too. We are, we are defending, we are defending, we are defending like people, and not like this. When this crime started, it is time for us to go to. Once they arrested, I mean, the Vivian's groups, when they arrested, who are working with some of and once they arrested and probably turned out at the police station, SSS, or the or, or the right their members of IQ. Give you lots of IQ, yes, your members, but now the leadership now has started to find him. What is call me or probably send the message to the office, my office, that you are in detention and this. I said, please, the back to the leadership. I am not your liar. Today, today, by that introduction, by that passage of the introduction, we have them in their thousands in prison custody and police detention facilities without nobody asking for their about because Simon is giving them direction. What to do? I hope I make this sense. There are many of them in their detention facilities without somebody asking them what is happening. How can we get you out? Because some of them may have been either arrested in the course of it, which have been by. By, by leadership of IPB and by the met and they, they all sit in the same land of it and, 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 and I don't understand how it's for the two weeks. What do you think is responsible for Simon Neta almost in the day? You would have thought that uh, government should upload the diplomatic channel in going after Simon Epa. That is no, no, no. himself. It is simple. Why is this? it appears, not that he's having a few day, he's not having a few day. It appears that he's having a few day in the eyes of people who don't understand what's happening in the secret. Is that the government is telling them, people in the South East today. That's allegedly, yeah, 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 there are no evidence. Say that them. I if, I, if I have the evidence with me, then I, I, I can give uh, evidence. So, why I'm saying that the government is adding them, not the Nigerian Security Agency is adding them. No, I'm saying that. They have every intel. They have intel. And there is no doubt about the workings of Simon Epp and his group. The calling communications, the kind of activities they are giving to them in their concept. In their, in their position today. Tell me what they've done. Now let me tell you what's happening. I've mentioned the number of days, the, the, the length of the number of days that you be publicly issued uh, statement discussing the global movement from the activity time on it. I've mentioned it here. Right? Now, what they, what they've been dodging and doing now is that those people, those two elements, wherever they are, they find themselves. They will go and they will go and talk to people, pure IP will be like flags, like um, probably uh, what do you call it, like flags and um, um, yeah, flags, anything. So when they are seen, probably when they are caught, the security will come and tell you what that is. So the only good point that this people are IP, but that's it today. We have been met to media, like BB Rise, who have come to run it that look, these are not IPA. They call them by their proper names. Why? Who are not this? And this people, to come in with to 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 it's because you want to portray IPUB in the bad light before the international community. But in fact, there are not people who are, who are doing that. They have all the time to run to them. They have all the time to stop it. But because of what's coming out is, they want the want of their rights to continue. So, that I believe. I believe, strongly believe, that it will soon be a uh, the, the, you know, the past. So, all right, maybe we need to pause now and also listen to 
our listeners so that they can also share their thoughts. Maybe along the line, you will have a cause to respond to some of the uh, reactions coming from our listeners. All right, you can join us, 0817-8947. That's the number to call, 0817-8947. You can also send us messages on WhatsApp. 50 seconds so that we can accommodate a lot of persons. Hello, good morning. Morning. <laughs> Go ahead, we have less time today because of 
say what you want, 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 what you Hello, good morning. Uh, my name is Adam Sonny from uh, Adatri. Okay. Um, I want my, my position would be based on, uh, I mean, only by act of Nigerian law in 2017, uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, through the Ministry of Justice, approach a court that designates IPOP as a terrorist organization and it was approved and targeted in our law. So as we speak now, so by the Nigerian law, IPOP is a terrorist organization. Uh, I recognize that. So having a person, you know, a spokesperson for IPOP is like having a uh, Islam spokesperson or Boko Haram, you know, spokesperson because they're all designated by our Allah, I'm speaking. Allah, 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 Allah,
the appeal against that order prescribing IPOB be is effective it's effective today it's a system in court so they didn't go to rest because they know they are peaceful movement and we have the we have the laws and facts before the court to show the court to monitor before the court that the where the prescription was physically motivated so because on September between September 10th and 14th 2017 Bonham well, the can was enjoying bail granted by granted him by the court by the prior court and getting set as a matter of fact we are taking you on pre-trial conference he has to, we are preparing for trial coming up on 14th of time on October 14th uh, yes 14th 2017 the Nigerian military in various premises between 10th and 14th of September he was not pronounced because of a wound we were murdered in a cold blood on 28th in an attempt to kill him this is a person that was scheduled to be in court on October 14th assuming without considering to the fact that he committed an offense unto law in the course of enjoying this bail can't you wait for him to come to court and this is a person that has publicly stated that is coming to court on October 14th with about 2 million diapers it's a record he's coming to court can't you wait for him to come to court and arrest him assuming without considering that I committed an offense under the law in an attempt to assassinate him to eliminate him to an eight persons we are murdered in his home on, on, the, on the October on September 14th to a two of something nevertheless kept by Wisconsin by out of providence having fraud in their to kill an American they quickly brought the prior record of September of October of September to obtain that order to seven IPV. And we followed up. We applied before the prior court to get the order as part of the aside. Then the court refused. Went to the court of appeal. So it's it's subject today and it's a matter before the court of appeal. You cannot effectively pronounce on the on the, make the pronounce on it because it's a matter it's subject. matter before the court of appeal so i previous today called to the Nigerian bar so what we are saying today is discussing today is a bunny of pursuing for the list of another camera to kill prize you to kidnap does not authorize you to go to school and probably arrest mission go to market and probably molest and kill and arrest and kidnap our people that is no these are not the ideology you never supported it and he has said it openly he has said it through me he has said it through his movement and he is not his movement is a peaceful global movement and called on law who are at every point in time operating within the conference of law okay why is it that global turn index classified as a, as a dangerous group and attracted it why is it but are you aware that two and has men today still occupy a very prominent stage in in a global industrial group of course you know it has very attracted the answer is no because they understand the the dangerous activities which is still ongoing as such as we see today look at what's happening in the benefit in plastic state people are being killed like foul on a daily basis on a daily basis even as you think that they take on set so in effect he's telling you you can go about this peacefully you can go about it always. They don't believe anybody who is telling you to go and kill, go and do this, go and do that. That is in, in, in the in under the guise, the guise of advocating or pushing for his release. He never supported it. That's right. why I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. you. Let's just some of the messages that have come in. Uh, I just need to go through some of the messages. Time certainly not on our side. I'll go through the messages and then uh, we see what we can do. All right. Uh, wow. All right. Uh, have you heard this? Tinubu later banning cost of governor. I'm seeing this regime as Buhari pro mass regime. Akamata. Thank you very much, Akamata. Good morning, Mr. Victor. 
forget about labor. They are all political jobs. And Mr. Victor, I don't think this country needs any palliative because all the palliatives, as a matter of fact, are off can sure pay 18,000 jobs. How did the sure pay go? What, who got the jobs? Now 500 billion have been approved for how many people in a country where we don't even know our total population? We are child and Nigerian people are also carried as Nigerian people, carried Nigerian passports. But how can you be giving 12 million people 8,000 that is like a hope on a daily basis, 1,000 in a month? And who are these 12 million people who are more important than all this? not sustainable. You don't go and bring policies from US, UK to execute in Nigeria. We operate on a different pedestal. Seventy billion approved, whether allegedly or not, Nigeria and the pandemic. Uh, Ron Williams of Decora Fashion. Uh, good morning, Victor. Victor, please. As we condemn the sit at home in the southeast, we should equally emphasize on the cost of the purported sit at home in the region. We are in a country where an obedience and obedience to rule of law by the government is effort in futility. The court has ordered for now the Kanu to be released by whosoever captured him from Kenya and brought him back to Nigeria. But this court order has not been obeyed in now, isn't it the government upon government are the cause of insecurity in the southeast? As for southeast governors that have kept on denying this seat at home in the southeast, please ask them why are the government offices, schools are under lock and keys every Monday. They lock everywhere in the government offices and tell the people to go about their normal businesses on Mondays. Then who is fooling who? Let the government release in and the can are followed by and we die down. Obedient man and from NNPC. Good morning, Victor. And our able ask about this type of restoration from the level of international support so far. That's not what we are doing, please. If the restoration is very unlikely, why not advise Nam the Kanu to renounce that struggle in order to secure his possible release as far? Uh, Adrian from Day. Uh, and your guess if it is true that Mazinam the Kanu stage is currently trying to create the foundation out of my illegal process. I don't know if it's true or false. That is treason, but if false, are government to obey all court orders by making a next page? One thing I miss, IPOB never carry arms. Please, let Eastern Elders thank her to give up on the group and embrace peace so that he will be released and peace with Emmanuel from Papi if it was treason. If he did that, it was treason. They've gone to court, and the court, I think, the court would have stand. Uh, we know in the South East, it's pure terrorism. Anyone supporting the so-called IPOB and the mayhem, they are trying to unleash an innocent and law and by citizens who are already victims and casualties of over. The lack of access to infrastructure as well. Like this element is then disgusting as, as freedom fighters should be brought to justice. No sensible individual just. The madness with impunity currently happening in the south. So these are terrorists who are terrorizing the people. The six political Jones are not necessarily recognized. They were politically created by Liz Sani and Bata for Polinians. Uh, from Marie, the airport through the lawyer, they are questionably traveled out of Abuja on the day when they cut for peace. They the judgment he delivered. Leaving his clear representation on the third court date. Why? David to back up against five. Uh, Arinz. I don't know. This is the first time I'm getting this uh, Arinz message. Francis Achime. Funny. Okay. Uh, good morning, Vicky. I am happy people from that region. The key that is going on, if it is true that the left government arrest all the guys that are causing problems, peace will return. I strongly believe that they are well. They will release none. They can. Uh, right. I wish I could have heard this earlier. I can't. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't preview the voice note you sent, so I will not be able to play it. All I mean should be okay. Okay, should be just like a sister. Okay. Hey, Mary, don't worry. I don't need to ban anybody, but I keep on uh, uh, praying that we follow the due process and understand it. Mr. Speaker, sir, have I not been vindicated when I said the enemy of my enemy is my friend? 
in the womb knows that Simon Epa is being allegedly sponsored by persons in government just to give IPO the international community and also I got a lot that the major provocator in the criminality going on in the southeast is the federal government uh, and unfortunately the past and present government is simply displaying politics of bitterness and deliberate ploy to underdevelop the southeast because with unrest in this region the government in power can easily show using the unrest as an ill drinking panadol for two criminals as the government to obey the court order to free Nam the Kano for peace to reign. Finally, I would suggest you invite your guests monthly to brief us of doing to educate the public. Never, never, I yeah, now come and pay me. Let's <laughs> uh, explain Nigerian government. Uh, have not any official statement or action on the seat at home in the southeast. I want to draw his attention to the meeting of uh, 14 February 2023 where the Minister of Foreign Affairs summoned the Philo Ambassador to Nigeria over Simon Ekma. I also want Mr. Victor to extend invitation to Bandit and Alamin. I think you are driving me you are driving me too far and uh, you are consistently giving credence to what people have been saying and uh, I am gradually gradually losing my patience with you it's either you are ready to contribute positively or you stay away from the radio station please uh, i don't like situations where people have a closed mind they don't open their mind to superior argument to reason you just think you have what you want to say and you reason along that line this might be my last official warning to you it's either you choose to listen and contribute positively or quietly stay away from being part of my show. I don't want to say this, but you pushed me to say it and this is the last time I will ever say it again. Next time, your calls and your messages will not be accepted. I give you the last warning. So a word is enough for the wise. I sincerely thank everyone who listen to programs and open their mind to make constructive criticism. There are something I don't understand with people and it's very unfortunate. And the fact remains that uh, we cannot continue to make the South East look as if uh, they are That has happened before now. We have seen us. people react. It's somebody in the fact that interested to the pub. You want to force it up. There have been instances where some groups have taken responsibility for mayhem in some parts of the country. And government refused and rather choose to say it is A or B that committed that action. Whatever happens in the South is without investigation. We we'll jump to the fact that it's IPOP. That is the why he is here to try to explain the position of Namdekam, the issues around the Namdekam, and the security in the Southeast. Rather than raise positive, objective angles to what he has said, rather we are choosing to remain along the same trajectory that is far the South is right. That's what I get from some of you who, for whatever reason, see it from that perspective. Nobody thinks that Simon Edmund's consistent attack on the country is under developing Nigeria. It's not about the South East alone. Whether you like it or not, they will see survive one way or the other but all those in the south area what please let's not uh, push ourselves let's not push ourselves uh, through some of these things I have a question have, or has it been condemned already I think the government has this feeling that Southeast failure is their success but I wish to inform them to rise again 
uh, Nikki. Thank you very much, Nikki. Um, anyone liking Mazina and the can with primal activities is lower than a okay. Machine, okay, I wouldn't use that. To watch, <laughs> okay. So, thank you, thank you to your guest, Richard. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll deal with that. Um, okay, my, so my name is David. I am happy. People from that region are against the killing that's going on. If it is true, let them help uh, the government arrest all the guys that are causing the problem. Come down, sir. They come down, sir. This problem that we as a country are facing in our country. So, all right. Thank you very much, David. I appreciate your um, seriously out of time. Oh, wow. This, uh, okay. Somebody sent me a voice note before I said I couldn't listen to the voice note to know. Nigerian government went and they kidnapped and they came in Kenya through a very secret intel. The Southeast governors know that Simon Ekme is in Finland and they did not send Interpol to arrest him. That means Southeast governors 100% working with Simon Ekme. There's an allegation to cause arrest what is true. I will, I hope, um, first a favor whenever you write, send us your full name and, of course, your location. Thank you very much. As we, wow, okay, so Victor by say, Jeffo is speaking the mind of Mazin and the Kano. Ekpa is not truly fighting, fighting, he's not truly really fighting for Mazin and the Kano. Thank you from watching AK. We appreciate you. I think, uh, let me just uh, give uh, Ifani uh, just uh, 60 seconds yeah, to wrap up on his submission this morning. All right, let's have you wrap up. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Nance, and particularly the uh, Mr. Vic for giving me the platform to speak to the world this morning from this session. I am immensely grateful. I want to use this platform also to call on the federal government to immediately do the needful. This is a court of order, a court, a court order. The order of court of, of intermediate, intermediate court in the land, that's court of appeal, that's said to leave this guy. We're not talking about the charge. And it's important. For people to know, there is no charge today. There is no charge today handed on him, handed on his neck. So the federal government are all The federal government to immediately release the land they cannot conditional as directed by and there's a limit to which they cannot go. This is a country that protects to, to practice conditional democracy. And in the, in the democratic institution, you must the, 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 the rule of law must rest supreme. You must have respect for the rule of law and also respect the laws of the land. So I'm urging the federal government to release them immediately and unconditionally as directed by the court. We are not begging them. It's the court of the land that said it. I didn't, Jopo didn't say that. Neither Joseph Kome said that. It's the court. Court of Appeal that said, believe him. And interestingly, it's a unanimous government of the Court of Appeal. Delivered by three, three justices of the Court of Appeal that said, release him unconditionally, don't detain him again, don't try him again. And they found the Gavara government liable for the gradual violation of the, of the international domestic laws in the manner in which they criminally abducted my master in Kenya, Kenya and they started reducing him to, to Nigeria. These are what they were, what they were not the court. The, it was a very strong pronouncement. I literally, this is Mazin and the can unconditionally and as directed by their court. Not the court of England. Thank you so much and God bless you. All right. Thank you for uh, joining us on the program situation report. Uh, really gone way, way beyond our time. If I need GFO, a member of the legal team of Nande Kano, uh, sharing his thoughts on the issues around Nande Kano and, of course, insecurity in the Southeast. Thanks to uh, Marvelous Phillips, who has graciously considered some of his time for us to exceed the time. I got to apologize, and of course, to Christina, who gave us technical support. I'm Victor Irele, thanking you, wishing you a pleasant weekend. And of course, as always say, today is a good day. Enjoy your day as Marvelous Phillips takes you round on Morning Drive. Good morning. Nine four seven. Oh.
authoritative, incisive, captivated. Good evening, dear friends. Good evening from Abuja, the Nigerian capital. I greet you all, Biafrans, friends of Biafrans, the lovers of freedom. My name is Benjamin Emadubu. I am a, an IQOB member. I was part of those that was in detention with our leader Mazen Nandekano in Kuja prison from DSS dungeon to Kuja prison between 2015 to 2018. That is when I got my freedom. Now, um, I went to visit our leader today. Finally, finally, I succeeded in meeting him one on one. I meet the great man, the prophet of our time, the greatest man God that God has created in Alibo. That is Nandekano. A man of wisdom. A man of integrity. I sat with him. Today, he blessed me. In fact, I'm happy to receive the blessing from this exceptional human being. I glorify God, the creator of heaven and earth, for giving us this gift as Onibo. Nandekano is a special gift. Special gift. In the next 100 years, there will be none like him. He's a great man. Upon all the stumbling blocks, today I succeeded in meeting him. I blessed today. And uh, I thank our lead, our Ebo Barrister, Ifanye Jofo, for making it possible. Today is a new day. Now, I will go to our mother tongue, in Igbo language, to speak to our people. Makase, the bang is law on your froji, Barianko, Magalade are your pata. I am a letter. Mela Walida Mure, I never is a bone cutter today. A company may be a wee bussy an year. O Panyon Walasalani, both his followers. O Panyon, lay claim, la nature of Biafra. To liberate our people. Our panyo wa joni si. Our panyo wa joni si ebon. Our pandi bo joni si ebon. Kye bo bus kuku magon. Tine la fridge. It's a reality. Oye ndu si mo si kansi yon. Number one o bunde leji afayama. About fundraising. Ndele use IPOB. About fundraising. Ndele use ESN. About fundraising. On you say some go on. On no pose. 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 Also, we go on, especially in the area where we come from. In the area where we come from, in the area where we come from, we come from the area where we come from. We come from the area where we come from. We come from the area where we 
Also, we go no. No, now they are working for Biafra. Oh, now they are working for Biafra. Because since they are going to like you, my Jesus. If I have just little, 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 chunk of paper, little chunk of paper, then do. If they are going to buy it, also we go no. No, now commit to go sacrilege. Aro. Abomination. If I be for the preacher, I will do Biafra from beginning. Obosu Obola, Obar Obaroni Obola la la. I forget that because of Biafra, I forget that Biafra. Also in June, message is really long for ten years. But I don't know how to have a message. Can 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 you see me pose? Me parent di rosa, di raba tabani. Ne men kesro ha. Oni si se kangunu. Ade pa me ha ma. La di ho pe pou no la di tension la di SS headquarters. La nde pa ni di 80% in the pou di ho population in yano diya. Ke yi he kosro ya. Dozu di afu ya toa se. Dozu la nan moto, de ke nan pon di bo. Nde le bi iba la. Nde le bi be community. Nde ka me pesi akan pon li be community. La li bo. La sa i esen. La zon mou oma. O se yon bo mou. La de kray mou nou la komit. Lo de kos of kray mou la komit. Kon le men de Nigeria security forces. Bia ba ni. Habia ba ni hala mou kosu mou azi yutu. Ou mou azi wogi yi abere. La ra ju la DSS headquarters. Because they want to prove to the government that hala wong. Mou nou mou mou de la komit yi fa. Habia fou nou. O se yon bo nou. Lo nou apou se ke. De yon bo li bo ga bo kosu nou ncha. Le le beru le le beru de ba ni abere. Seven day to seven times every day. Kau nak berani 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 seven times every day kau nak berani buat berani jumpa biafras seven times every day. Lihat show ibu nuh, oh nuh buat apa kau malu fak? Before aku akan mad. Okay, sorry, sorry my people, sorry. Ah, you know, oh nuh mana network najeri itu lah deh. Nah, oh ni sih sekarang kau nuh. On y a un peu dans les communautés. Là, il y a un peu. Là, il y a un peu. Là, il y a un peu dans les familles. Là, il y a un peu dans les familles. Là, il y a un peu dans les familles. 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 On y a un peu dans les communautés. Il y a un peu dans les familles. Il y a un peu dans les familles. Il y a un peu dans les familles. You are not working for Biafra. You have nothing to do with IPOB. You have no mandate from him. You are a criminal. Also, can make on the matter. La never in never in his life. Come and go on with anybody. Long we hear me here. Long we are getting it over from him. In the chain of command of IPOB, Omega abolish. In your mother was a deputy leadership. Omega abolish. Now, in the chain of command of IPOB, in a place like I'm not in place, that the next person to take charge and control the struggle is whoever not in position as direct, the head of director of state. Yeah, HDOS. Nobody else. That has been the structure of IPOB. Or send you no. Oh no, let claim on no follow us here. And again, with this structure, over the banana to see ya. Long we hear Maria ya take ya charge. Or send you no money on a mental problem. Or second one, Simon, a member of ITOB. 
Simon de Eba. Although, any de me won't make a no man. Mama can soon lose us, mam. Because on on it on 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 here from him. If any land of web a document here, I put on a play here. On a joy of me, how can I move on? And I'm on me, me, me. I'm on the best position. Position. To even quote that one here, I'm going to without consulting him. Because I know. Simon Eba is not a member of IPOB. Simon Eba has no mandate from him to do anything. Or what a mandate from him to do anything, fundraising, whatever, whatever, no sense or not. Or what mandate from him to no mandate, nothing, or whatsoever. Also, I'm going to challenge the IPOB members of this attack criminals. They are disappointed in all of you. Sorry, dear friends, network difficulties because of uh, my own number to Nigeria anyway. So now, when you see very, very clear, someone has been the mandate from Oyendo. When you see some going to Lord DSS last sponsor Simon Eba. Now Simon Eba is being sponsored by the enemies of Biafra. On who get the mandate from him, and yes, stop war in Zafia for whatever. Let's stop on here. The only thing mandate. I confronted on this today. See on your do. On when we see about that criminal, that criminal, that false star that in land there. See on when we have to use your galiru take over from you. Only say let him go. Only say let him go. He has nothing. No mandate. Nothing. No nothing. Nothing is come on with him. Nothing. He's just being frosted using his name, using the name of IPOB, using the name of ESN. Oh, it's very clear to me today. And Simon, I'm going watch this video. Only see somebody desist from using his name. For what the hell, man? Stop using the name of IPOB. Stop using the name of ESN. You know nothing about these entities. Nothing. Because you're not a member of IPOB. You are not a member of IPOB. Also, this is the message also to you direct. And uh, our people, if they use autopilot to enable the bank, only see some bank that the payment day is coming. You will pay for it. You will pay for it. You will pay for it. If they use Afia. Black committed abomination, atrocities. Nalibo, in the name of Allah, fighting for Biafra. What do you know about Biafra? Can you hear about IPOB? It shall have the IPOB, the king of the nation, the Igbo. More Igbo, 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 you know, you live in that land. IPOB, I'm going to hear you, you see, I IPOB is out for freedom of our people. And they work on Lucha. They work on Lucha. And you to Simon And some of you, man, I don't happy with one I don't happy with one in you know the maybe here jail a prison or here jail jail a dungeon they are abomination they cry when they commit to the libo be here jail that place I want to go to jail all that's some corner and everybody all of you should stop using his name if you want to do do your own thing commit the crime on your own stop using his name to do it stop it Stop it! All of this nonsense, only the member will direct that person. Member, all the member, all the member, no person, me up on one. 
Oh, my God, I'm not going to get it. 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 I'm not going to get Nigeria and Kenya. This is the three countries in America. All the young people who are in Chapara, who Malami, Abu Bakar Malami former, one group or not, putra putra, and now for bounty, this is what we are do. Long before concluded with that plan, that was when they concluded that plan to to arrest him in Kenya, to kidnap him, not even arrest, to kidnap him. UK, Nigeria, and the Kenya, they go, the people are responsible for what happened to him. And they deceive Kenya. In the document they give to Kenya, they write it Nigerian citizen. They never mention British citizen in the document. That's why Kenya fall, fall for them and help them to do the to commit the crime against humanity on him. And the private jet age will be on this here. Also, here, also that private of law, one CIA agent with that private jet. The name of the private jet is Phoenix. Phoenix is the name of the private jet. The name of the private jet. Only we have to go to the only one who has to go to the bank. Only one who has to go to the bank. My politician, my businessman, they involved in the bank. They have to go to the bank. They have to go to the bank. Okay, continue, continue. Lia le ure tiyo esi uwe because of Lia si si stop on sit at home Have I stop on you immediately No yo le ure hiwe Then no I continue on me sit at home Open the announcement omre Ozi li no lezi fa nye jo fo sin gunu Ozi fa nye lezi fo nye jo fo lezi bozi ya zri Ozi a lo ye e jubako lezi bozi ya wa zri Ozi mas wele mas barisa mas wele Obara lezi bozi ya wa zri Ozi barista chukwe meka chukwe meka ijo fo lezi ibozi ya wa bonye ndusri onwere nke bu fochire ihe na agwo no today bu all of you ma ebe mri si bido we gala agwo no mri lunu leso e criminal a finland o se ngwo no le adro haki with all of you and all of you that bastard le nyo da ele me sita chon na bani also, you know, they actually go on. On will retrace their steps. On retrace their steps. IPOB as in Bia France. Good evening from Abuja, the Nigerian capital. I greet you all, Bia France, friends of Bia France, the lovers of freedom. My name is Benjamin Emadubu. I am a, an IPOB member. I was part of those that was in detention with our leader Mazen Nandekano in Kuja prison, from DSS dungeon to Kuja prison, between 2015 to 2018. That is when I got my freedom. Now, um, I went to visit our leader today. Finally, finally, I succeeded in meeting him one on one. I met the great man, the prophet of our time, the greatest man God that God has created in Alibo. That is Nandekano, a man of wisdom. A man of integrity. I sat with him 
today he blessed me in fact I'm happy to receive the blessing from this exceptional human being. I glorify God, the creator of heaven and earth, for giving us this gift as only one. the can is a special gift. Special gift. In the next 100 years, there will be none like him. He's a great man. Upon all the stumbling blocks, today I succeeded in meeting him. I blessed today. And uh, I thank our, our able barrister. You find a job for, for making it possible. Today is a new day. Now, I will go to our mother tongue, in Igbo language, to speak to our people. Maka se ndeba ni se lo onye furoji bari anko magalade are ojo pata. I am here to talk. I am here to talk. I am here to today. I am here to talk. 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 I am Oh, Pandi, would you need a bono? Cables open my bono. Tin in a fridge. It's a reality. Oh, you do the most you can see on. Number one, open the lady of Fayama. A bad fundraising. Ndele you so IPOB. A bad fundraising. Ndi le yusu ESN, eme fundraising. Onyi se se ongu ono. Ono kose. Ono kose. Une eme bizili yende mado. Jobra hawe eko kwa. For since past 10 years. Ose ongu ono. Especially in the Alay Messi Tatkum. In the Alay Wunde Bani. In the Anna Moto. Lay kidnapping in the Bo. Lana Haransom. Lana Randi Bo Moto Lay Buddhis Lay Re by pass by pass. Also, I'm going to. No, I'm going to walk for Biafra. No, I'm going to walk for Biafra. Because I said I got in dollar cheap and joyous. It got a basil, Lila, Lila, John de Baila, John de Bagento. It got a little wound de Bagin. Also, I'm going to not commit to go sacrilege. Aro abomination. If I be for the preacher, I read you Biafra from beginning. Obosobola. I forget that because of Biafra, I forget that Biafra. Also in June, the message is on your for 10 years. But I don't know how to have a message. Can you see me? I'm going to see you. 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 Only see the Kangoon at the Pamay Hammer. Like the whole people know that detention at DSS headquarters. Landed by the 80% in the whole population in Yanavia. Can you cost of you? Those who have to ask. 
Those who are not they can not on the Ndi lebi ibala. Ndi lebi ibe community. Ndi kame pesi akampo li ibe community. La li ibo. La sa iyesa. La zo mo oma. O se yon bo mo. La de kray mo no la komit. Lo de kos of kray mo na komit. Kwa le mende. Mende Nigeria security forces. Bia ba ni. Hadi ba ni hala mo kosu mo azi yutu. O ma se wogi la right to the DHS headquarters because they want to prove to the government that Allah won. We no open the law committee for. Hadi afun. Ose unbo no. No na kusege. They will leave the government so nuncha. They are not rude. They are not bad. They are seven day to seven times every day. Kola bere de bani bere seven times every day. Kola bere di we bere. You hold the offers seven times every day. Le ashwe ibu no ano. Onu we pa kwe mwalo fe. Before wa kam mad. Okay, sorry, sorry, my people, sorry. Ah, you know, onu man the network Nigeria to all that. Now, oni si se kamu onu. Onyo abona no lime community. La za ESM. Lady Bala. La ga ebi beti re family. Lady beti na munye. Lady be ibe obodo. Ibe ti rinde zalandi ichi elo obodo. Onyo se ga abu ESM. Aga le ebi e. O se yungu unu la onyo abu dola la community se ga abu ESM. La mune kamp la community we criminal. You are not ESM. You are not working for Biafra. You have nothing to do with IPOB. You have no mandate from him. You are a criminal. Also, can make no matter. La never in never in his life. Come and go around with anybody. Long we hear Maria. Long we are getting it over from him. In the chain of command of IPOB, Omega abolish in your Balabasa deputy leadership. Omega abolish. Now, in the chain of command of IPOB, in a place like I'm not in place, that the next person to take charge and control the struggle is whoever not in position as direct, the head of director of state. Yeah, HDOS. Nobody else. That has been the structure of IPOB. problem. Simon Eba will get a member of ITOB. Simon Eba, although any day we go to Macaroni, my mother can't see you no use, ma'am, because on the way to on the from him, if any land they go by document here, me, I'll go to the play here. On a job we have got no bone. And I'm on the I'm on the best position position. To even quote that one in here, that one without consulting him, because I know Simon Eba is not a member of IPOB. Simon Eba has no mandate from him to do anything. On what no mandate from him to do anything, fundraising, whatever, whatever, no sense or not. On what mandate from him to no mandate, nothing or whatsoever. Also, we go on. On on chat, on table, I will be members of this without criminals. They are disappointed in all of you. They are disappointed. You are kadendo. Oh kadendo. Some go there, but also without consultation. See, there are from there are from Biafra government in this side. Under whose authorization? I ask for you. See, did you give this? Sorry, dear friends, network difficulties because of uh, my own army to Nigeria anyway. So, now, when you see very, very clear, 
Someone at Bemo in the mandate from Moyen to only since you go to Lord DSS last sponsor Simon Eba. Now Simon Eba is being sponsored by the enemies of Biafra. Omo any mandate from him and yes, stop war in Zafia for whatever. Let's stop war. The only game in the mandate. I confronted you see today. See on you do. Omo na buiji ba that that criminal that first time that he landed. See on we have been against you. Ya galiru take over from you. Only say let him Only say let him He has nothing, no mandate, nothing, no, nothing, nothing in common with him. Nothing. He's just being frosted using his name, using the name of IPOB, using the name of ESN. Oh, it's very clear to me today. And Simon and Malika watch this video. Only oh, this is a disease from using his name. For what the hell, man? Stop using the name of IPOB. Stop the you using the name of ESN. You know nothing about these entities. Nothing. Because you're not a member of IPOB. You are not a member of IPOB. Also, this is the message also to you direct. And uh, our people, they use autopilot to enable a Only system that the payment day is coming. You will pay for it. You will pay for it. You will pay for it. In a use of fear. Black committed abomination. Atrocities. La Libo, in the name of Fela fighting for Biafra. What do you know about Biafra? Can you hear about IPOB? You shall have the IPOB, the King of Hanes and Dibo. More Ibo, 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 you know, you never have in London. IPOB, I've been here in Jerusalem. IPOB is out for freedom of our people. And they work on Lucha. They work on Lucha. They got a great day to Swamu. They got 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 to Swamu. And you, um, you do to an assignment of Ali. What is this? Eh? Who the black yabu no? Who the black yabu no? And all some of you. Ma, Njema, I don't happy with Onuma. I don't happy with Onuma. In you know the man behind jail, a prison. All the jail jails are dungeon. They are abomination. They crime on that committee that live behind jail at that place. I want to go to jail. All that's on Onu. And everybody, all of you, should stop using his name. If you want to do do your own thing, commit the crime on your own. Stop using his name to do it. Stop it. Stop it. All of this nonsense only the member will direct that person. All the men, all the men who person me up on one. All men that keep it okay. But I'm going to say, dear, I'm going to check my lagger. I'm going to bundi bo. I'm going to bundi bo. All the young people, I'm not going to sing go ibo person to involve in the murder. Tell me, contrary, if we hear murder, you see, hear murder, you see. All the young people, all UK, Nigeria, and the Kenya. This is the three countries in America. All the young people, on the chapter, we malami, I put back malami formulo. One group will not put a put a. And now for a bounty, this is what we're going to do. Long back concluded with that plan. That was when they concluded that plan to, to arrest him in Kenya. To kidnap him, not even arrest. To kidnap him. UK, Nigeria, and the Kenya, they go, the people are responsible for what happened to him. And they deceive Kenya. In the document they give to Kenya, they write it in Nigerian citizen. They never mention British citizen in the document. That's why Kenya fall, fall for them and help them to do the to commit the crime against humanity on him. And the private jet age will be brought to see here. Also, here, also that private of law, one CIA agent with that private jet. The name of the private jet is Phoenix. Phoenix is the name of the private jet. The name is like the private jet. Only we have to go to the bank. 
Good evening from Abuja, the Nigerian capital. I greet you all, Biafrans, friends of Biafrans, the lovers of freedom. My name is Benjamin Emadubu. I am a, an IPOB member. I was part of those that was in detention with our leader Mazen Nandekano in Kuja prison from DSS dungeon to Kuja prison between 2015 to 2018. That is when I got my freedom. Now, um, I went to visit our leader today. Finally, finally, I succeeded in meeting him one on one. I met the great man, the prophet of our time, the greatest man God that God has created in Alibo. That is Nandekano, a man of wisdom, a man of integrity. I sat with him. Today, he blessed me. In fact, I'm happy to receive the blessing from this exceptional human being. I glorify God, the creator of heaven and earth, for giving us this gift as only one. And the can is a special gift. Special gift. In the next 100 years, there will be none like him. He's a great man. Upon all the stumbling blocks, today I succeeded in meeting him. I bless today. And uh, I thank our our able barrister, Ifanye Jofo, for making it possible. Today is a new day. Now, I will go to our mother tongue, the Nibo language, to speak to our people. Makase, the bang is a lot on your forge, Barianko, 
Lagalade are all Jopada. Oh, in him, Reta. Mela Walida Mure. I never is one cut up today. A woman may be a wee pussy, I knew. Oh, Panya Malasalani, both his followers. Oh, Panya Man, lay claim, la nature of Jaffra, to liberate our people. Oh, Panya Majunisi, oh, Panya Majunisi, a bona. Oh, Pandi, would you need a bona? Cables will come out bona. Tin in a fridge is a reality. Oh, you do the most can't see you. Number one, open the lady of a young one. A fundraising. Under the use of IPOB, a me fundraising. Under the use of ESL, a me fundraising. Only says young one. On opposite. On opposite. On aime bizarrement les gens mado. Jobra a ouvert pour quoi? For since past ten years. On se rend compte. Especially India les messi tatoum. India les bundes bani. India na na moto. Les kidnappings d'Ibo, là on a la rançon. Là on a rendu Ibo moto les bourris les rey by pass by pass. Oh c'est un gros nom. Là on a des walkers pour Biafra. On a des walkers pour Biafra. Because c'est là qu'on rentre dans la chambre de Joyce. Et quand il y a des gens qui la qui la chante pas il la chante pas rien tout. Et bien les bourris de Bani. Oh, c'est un bon nom, a commis de go sacrilège. Aro, abomination. Il faut avoir fait le prix sur la radio Biafra from beginning. Au bossu, au bon là. Au baron, il va pas là là. I forget that because of Biafra, I forget that Biafra. Oh, c'est un jour, le message est long, il y a for 10 years. Oh, but alors, on a un grand travail pour message. Can you see my pussa? My parent, do you know so? Do you rabbit a bunny? The men kiss her hand. Only see the kangoon at the pami hammer. Like the whole people know the detention at DSS headquarters. Land the bunny the eighty percent in the put the whole population in Yanavia. Can you recall Syria? Those who just fear to ask, those who are not motto, they cannot be able to. They are not 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 able to. They are Oh, c'est un bon nom. La de crime, on la commit. Là, because of crime, on la commit. Quand les mains de, de, de Nigeria, c'est forces. Bien bani. Ha bien bani. Ha la moukos ou mazi youtu. Ou mazi wogi yi amere. Là, la gente la DHS headquarters. Because they want to prove to the government that ha la ron. Mou nom ou de la commit, il fa. Ha de afon. Oh, c'est un bon nom. Lona was again. They will live with a woman soon on chap. Let a baron, let a brand the banner, but a seven day to seven times every day. Call a brand the banner, but a seven times every day. Call a brandy weber. You go be a fuss seven times every day. Lea Shay Boon, on the work I come on offer before I come back. Okay, sorry, sorry, my people, sorry. Uh, you know, all of them are the network in Nigeria to all of them. Now, only six is going on. On your own, only my community. Lazar ESM. 
Lady Bala. La guy be better family. Lady better than Munia. Lady be Ibe Obodo. Ibe didn't dance and teach you a Obodo. On your cigar with ESM. A galley beer. Ossian won all your other community cigar with ESM. Like when I come from a community where criminal. You are not ESM. You are not working for Biafra. You have nothing to do with the IPOB. You have no mandate from him. You are a criminal. Also, can make on the matter. never in never in his life. Come and go on with anybody. Long we hear Mary. Long now we get it over from him. In the chain of command of IPOB. Omega abolish in your Basan deputy leadership. Omega abolish. Now, in the chain of command of IPOB, in a place like I'm not in place, that the next person to take charge and to control the struggle is whoever not in position as direct, the head of director of state, yeah, HDOS. Nobody else. That has been the structure of IPOB. Osim Jounu, Onu le klemu onu bu follow wasi ya. Anye genwe di structure. Owele te banu na dosi ya. Longu inge meri ya ya take ya charge. Osim Jounu mune mune mental problem. Osim Kangunu, Simon e babuge member of IPOB. Simon Eba, although any day we go to Macaroni, Malo can soon use us, ma'am, because we don't need to know we don't need from him. If any land we go by document here, we have to know play here. We are just a member of the board. And I don't mean I don't need best position position to even go up there and go in here and go without consulting him, because I know. Simon Eber is not a member of IPOB. Simon Eber has no mandate from him to do anything. On what the mandate from him to do anything, fundraising, whatever, whatever, no sense or not. On what mandate from him to no mandate, nothing or whatsoever. Also, on the other on the other IPOB members, they so that criminals. They are disappointed in all of you. Let me disappointed. You are cadendo. Oh, cadendo. Somebody have borrowed some without consultation. See, there are four. There are four people from government in this side. Under whose authorization? I ask for this. Did you give this? Sorry, dear friends. Network difficulties because of uh, man on American Nigeria at the end. Well, so now, only see me very clear. Simon Ebe won't get the mandate from Oyendo. Only since he won the Lord DSS last sponsor Simon Eba. That Simon Eba is being sponsored by the enemies of Biafra. On won't get the mandate from him, and he has stop war in Zafia for whatever. Let's stop war. The only guy who the mandate. I confronted Onyisi today. See Oyendo. On when we did about that criminal, that criminal, that first time that he landed. See, on when we did about that criminal, 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 that nothing. that criminal, 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 Oh, it's very clear to me today. And Simon, I'm going to watch this video. Only see him again. This is from using his name. For what are you, man? Stop using the name of IPOB. Stop using the name of ESN. You know nothing about these entities. Nothing. Because you're not a member of IPOB. You are not a member of IPOB. Also, this is the message also to you direct. And the our people 
Il est juste autant par le tourner pour la parler. On est sur ce mot parler. La dit permet de y scommer. You will pay for it. You will pay for it. You will pay for it. Il est juste à faire. La commission abomination. Atrocities. La libre. Nous devons faire la fête pour Biafra. What do you know about Biafra? Kikima about IPOB. Il shall have IPOB de Kikima en les Ndibo. Moi, il est bon, 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 on ne peut pas qu'il y a un bon moment. On ne peut pas qu'il y a un bon moment. Et on ne peut pas qu'il y a un bon moment. On ne peut pas qu'il y a un bon moment. On ne peut pas qu'il y a un bon moment. On ne peut pas qu'il y a un bon moment. Il 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 y a un bon I want to talk to you. All your sons will And everybody, all of you should stop using his name. If you want to do, do your own thing, commit the crime on your own. Stop using his name to do it. Stop it. Stop it. I want to this nonsense on the man with the right to the man. I'm the man. I'm the man who can scream. I'm the man. 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 Il y a des gens qui ont été envoyés à des personnes qui ont été envoyées. Très bien contre ce que vous avez dit. Il y a des gens qui ont été envoyés. UK, Nigeria et Kenya. C'est très bien contre ce que vous avez dit. Il y a des gens qui ont été envoyés. Il y a des gens qui ont été envoyés. Il y a des gens qui ont été envoyés. Pour être là. And now, for a bounty, this is what we're going to do. Long back, conclude with that plan. That was when they concluded that plan to to arrest him in Kenya, to kidnap him, not even arrest, to kidnap him. UK, Nigeria, and the Kenya, they go, the people are responsible for what happened to him. And they deceive Kenya. In the document they give to Kenya, they write it Nigerian citizen. They never mention British citizen in the document. That's why Kenya fall, fall for them and help them to do the to commit the crime against humanity on him. And the private jet agent will be to see here. Also, here, also that private law, one CIA agent with that private jet. The name of the private jet is Phoenix. Phoenix is the name of the private jet. The name is like the private jet. Only we have to go to the bank. Only we have to work here to the human being. Only we have to go today. Only we have to go. My politician, my businessman, they involve the human being. Like kidnap the human being in Kenya. Oh, just since you know. Only we have to go to the bank. 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 Ose mucho uno, un mundo ahí le re, le re, le re, o por un lima aquí ya. Ok, continúe, continúe. Un mundo ahí le re, o por un lima aquí ya, gran me ataque, o me rondo que ni. O me rebuya de un cuo, si me besita chon, la afia. Lea le ure de un ese, y huele de coso, o le hace si stop, o si te atom. Hama stop, o yumi de tili. Lo yo le ure de un ese, de un ese, continúe, no me besita chon. Open the announcement, Omre. Ozili no le zifa ye jo fo se mburu lo zifa ye jo fo se mburu lo zifa ye jo fo Ozi a lo ye jo bako le zifo se ye wa zri. Ozi maswel, barista maswel, obara le zifo se ye wa zri. Ozi barista chukwe meka, chukwe meka ye jo fo le zifo se ye wa bo nye ndu zri. Omre ye kebo fochre. Even now, one today, bro, 
All of you, man. I've been married since then. We got a bad home, Mary. You know, let's say criminal like in London. All of you, man. They are happy with all of you. And all of you, that bastard, they know that. And let me see that you're not banning. All of you, man. They actually go on. On retrace steps, on retrace steps. I be obvious.